everybody welcome to the show i am your host justin roby welcome to roby tech and today is the day we have been waiting i think this was supposed to be built three weeks ago and it has basically taken that long to finally get to the point so huge shout out obviously to to the uh fight folks over at nzxt and also the folks over at amd for hooking us up with the parts for this that we are going to be giving away right here on the stream and yes of course new stream new year new haircut all those big things going on so of course we're uh we're making sure it look uh we're, we're making sure that i look good for today's stream uh but it is actually really cool to get to see everybody welcome to 2024 i couldn't think of a better way to kick off 2024 than to do, I, I mean, honestly, probably one of my favorite games. I, I enjoyed it. I don't know what everybody else, said. I guess a lot of people are like, have been kind of poo-pooing on the build, but I mean, on the game, but I have been absolutely enjoying the game. Super stoked to actually get the chance to, to hang out with you guys, build the PC and then give it away on the stream. People are probably asked, I saw some people asking questions. Hey, what's, what's the deal with giveaways today, Roby? We have some of the lighter fare stuff as well. 20, 250 likes over at youtube.com slash Tech Live. We'll give away a $25 new A gift card. So head on over to youtube.com slash Tech Live. Hit that thumbs up button. Uh, the second one is uh, if we get a level five hype train, which we got some get the prime drop day five gifter, zero spoons dropping a prime sub as well. But if we get uh, level five hype train, we'll give away a, five, a $25 new A gift card. If we get to level 10, we give away $100 cash just to anybody, any lucky person. So that's the way that basically works there. Um, we are giving away this PC. So we're giving that PC away. And then next week, or sorry, later on in the week, uh, when we do our next AMD build, we'll give away that Ryzen 7 7600X, which is the community giveaway. And we also have that 7800X 3D that uh, AMD did as part of the, uh, the Partner Plus program. Uh, since we got two, we're now month two down. Last month, this is the last month to basically get this done. So that's happening today. And so uh, we are going to be giving uh, we're going to be giving those away later on this week. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be. I actually don't know if there's going to be a build tomorrow. We are looking at the case. I'll show it to you at the end of the stream. Uh, and I want to make sure I put the right materials inside of it. And so I don't quite have the part. So we might postpone that to later on in the week. Uh, and then we'll end up doing a uh, we'll end up doing two builds on Friday and Saturday instead of tomorrow and Saturday. So that's kind of going on. That's what's that's what's kind of going on there. Um, trying to think what else. I think that's kind of it. Obviously, we have CES coming up. People are, you know, we, we saw that little secret drop from NVIDIA showing what looks like the hint of something. So we have some, obviously we have some NVIDIA announcements uh, coming up. We got uh, lots of new case announcements, lots of rumors around some of the stuff that are coming out uh, with CES. So stay tuned, because I think all of our CES coverage will kick off with the NVIDIA stream that's going to be happening. Uh, and then from there, we'll be live streaming that. And then from there, obviously, we're going to be doing live streams from the ASUS booth. Uh, maybe from the Be Quiet booth and some other booths, so you guys can see and ask questions directly uh, about uh, to one of the comp to some of the companies in terms of the new things that are coming, kind of coming out too. So it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be pretty rad. We try to make it inclusive so you guys can see the stuff as well. Um, <clears throat> also. I don't know if you guys saw this, but obviously Blue Horse Studios uh, teased the Cyberpunk 2077 build that we are doing in conjunction with NVIDIA, Origin, and uh, Blue Horse. So we're going to be doing that, doing that live build. That's going to be coming up before January 15th. Um, and then uh, lastly, uh, we also are starting the pre-builds in gaming. So similar to the Falcon Northwest, where we're going to be showing you some pre-builds, but then we'll be giving those pre-builds away. So some really, really good stuff happening uh, in January and some great opportunities to win some PCs. And then the other thing, too is this, this is my birthday month, guys. We are literally 15 Deweys away from my birthday, uh, which is on January 17th. Uh, and so uh, we're gonna be doing that on January 17th. Uh, I don't, I think the stream will actually happen. The stream will actually be happening uh, earlier, uh, later on in the month. I will actually be in Taipei for my birthday, uh, visiting Lee and Lee, so that's gonna be happening. Uh, <clears throat> but don't worry, we, just, we will do a big birthday stream and we'll try and give a PC away or something like that uh, as part of that as well. So a lot of really, really good stuff coming up, which should be awesome and I'm really, really good. I wish I could do a birthday stream, but the problem is, I, like I said, I'll be in Taipei uh, and I'll be in Taipei for literally uh, Lee and Lee. So that's what's gonna be happening as well. So that should be pretty cool. Um, trying to think of what else I think there's, I think that's kind of it. Yeah, it should be a good month. We got a lot coming up, but it should be fun. Nice. I love, I love all the people who are like, who also have birthdays in January, but there's only 12 months of a year, right? Like, and everybody's got to have a birthday. So it's cool to share birthdays with people and all that sort of stuff. That's right. Fozzie don't, isn't your birthday also, isn't that the same? I thought for some reason, I think I share a birthday date with the same one too. 
Yeah, we'll have some of the Lee and Lee stuff for sure, right? So we're going to be doing some vlogging and things like that as well. Now, one other thing I want to let you know, uh, one benefit, it's a new month. So it's the month of January. Uh, if you want to get extra entries to win that Cyberpunk PC, if you want to get extra entries to win this Starfield PC, if you want to get extra entries to win many of the other PCs that we're going to be giving away over the course of the streams, make sure you are subscribed. Subscribers get extra entries towards being, winning these PCs. These PCs, you do not need to be subscribed to win, but it does get you extra entries. We are in a hype train right now already. So thank you very much, Fire Squid, Babe, Baba Ganoush, I love that name, uh, Igor, and uh, James Burger, James, James Ambergery uh, for all the subs so far. But again, if you want to subscribe, they get you extra entries to win these PCs, plus the ultimate other PCs we're going to be giving away uh, over the course of the next, uh, over the next month. So, and on top of that, we will have the Twitch PC that I'm hoping We'll be doing, it's a custom water-cooled Twitch PC, Twitch Steam PC to celebrate Partner Plus that we'll be giving away. Uh, and that'll be that'll be super, super rad. So I'm actually really, really excited about that. Um, I try, I think that's kind of it. Uh, let's finish out this hype train real quick. Let's get to level five, because then we give the, we'll give away that $25 new gift card and then we'll go from there. Let's keep it going, guys. Remember, just drop your free Prime sub. If you have Amazon Prime, drop your Prime sub and that'll get you a free entry. Uh, fails, thank you very much for the tier one sub. Naku, thank you very much for your sub as well. Sorry, I, got, I just got a lot of emails. I mean, uh, things, I'm just taking. So yeah, there we go. Level three achieved, thanks to Tellurian Academy. Resubscribing with tier two. Guys, thank you very much for that as well. Um, and then uh, all the other stuff, guys, but it's gonna be a super fun build. Okay, so thank you very much, level three. Okay, so you guys, while I'm waiting for the hype train, do you guys want to get the prime? Thank you very much for the, 20, the five gifted subs. Do you guys want to see the case? I haven't even opened it. I haven't even opened it yet, and then we'll still open this too, because I know you guys want to see this as well. But hey, what's up? Thanks for saying hi from Austria. You guys want to see the case though? Let's show it off. See this case? Uh, it was designed by a friend of mine uh, who used to be Xbox Pope. Now he's Pope Art. He changes his name a lot, uh, but super talented dude. Uh, we've done a number of uh, collaborations with him, so it's really cool to actually get a chance to do this. Uh, with, actually open one of his cases that he designed when he was working with, MZ, uh, when, with NZXT. This case will be sold in limited quantities. So this is, you guys are getting a preview of the case. You will be able to buy it sometime this year. Um, and a huge shout out obviously to Andy and the team over at NZXT for sending us one of these. So we can do this build. And then of course to AMD for sending us those limited edition uh, parts as well. Guys, level five, we gotta finish this level. Finish this level, $20, Andrew Ward. Dude, no kidding, Huskies playing Michigan, right? Coming up, that's actually happening during CES, which our film guy, Brian, which you've seen a number of times, huge Huskies fan, and is hopefully hoping he's gonna be able to catch the games there as well. But yeah, uh, took out Texas, uh, took out Texas, is gonna take out Michigan, because the only there is nothing good in Michigan at all. So that's all I gotta say. <laughs> This, the pe all the people in Michigan are like, what? I mean, it's just crime. That's all they have there. <laughs> That's what they do. You can, you can, you can, you can essentially, you can get your degree in the University of Michigan in crime. So, but yeah. Oh, the website. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's, it's, uh, it was a good game, a lot of fun, and uh, really excited to have. Uh, have that uh, going on. So yeah, congratulations to the Huskies. Yeah, for the 20, uh, for the win over Texas and now also to Michigan. So that that big game coming up uh, on uh, Monday, right? 4.30. So yeah, exactly, Tellarium. Uh, okay, guys, uh, three minutes and 20 seconds. Let's finish this. We're, we're one tier one. All we gotta do is finish this tier and we unlock the $25 new gift card. Those poor Lions fans. I know, that's what I heard. I heard the, the end was actually pretty stressful. We can do it, guys. Three minutes, and I'll open the case. Come on, let's do it. I want to give you guys—you guys got all, all the way here. Remember, drop your Prime sub. That gets you an extra. That gets you extra entries towards winning this PC. Naku, thank you very much. She dropped 100 bits. And again, Andrew, thank you for the twenty dollars. It's going. It's going pretty good so far. I mean, we're we're getting ready to do a build. We're going to give away. 
Hey, Patty, thank you very much for the Prime sub. Guys, two minutes, 30 seconds, let's get it done. Live unboxing of the case, yeah. It'll be in near the end of the stream. For people asking, we always do it at the end of the stream. You just gotta stick around and yes, you have to be present. Uh, I love the Fractal Torrent, great case. What I don't love is how these things are poked. I hate it when cases, when they do this. When, there we go, okay. One minute, come on guys. What's up, Falcon? It's rigged? What does that even mean? Ugh. Okay, got it. Ooh, this looks good. Well, it was artful because the thing didn't open. One minute, 11 seconds, guys. Let's finish this out so we can get that. I did, I got a haircut. Fifty seconds. Come on, we can do it. Remember, drop your prime sub to get you an extra entry towards winning this PC. We're going to be giving away at the end of the stream. Hey, Dustin Dragonfryer, tier one, forty-four seconds. We can unlock it, guys. Uh, it depends on what you're going to do with it, Pasic. I mean, like if it's if it's four K gaming, yes, that's not a big deal, or even fourteen forty p. Knots, Knots dropping it, Nort's dropping three. 20 seconds, we can finish it, we're almost there. Just somebody's gotta drop another three or four and then we'll unlock that $25 new gift card. <laughs> 12 seconds, we can do it. Just gotta, somebody do it. We're there. Oh, okay, no, well. It was close. Well, we'll see if we can do it again at the other one, but you guys got to, we got, we got close. Okay, this is, ladies and gentlemen, this is, thank you very much, Green Crabs, and I am, I am Mr.com. This is the Starfield Special Edition H5 Flow. So I think there, I don't actually think there's that many of these cases, um, but very, very cool in terms of the look and all that sort of stuff right here, but check it out. Here's the front. And then we also have on the back. So you also have like the star field. It looks like a, it looks like a, almost like a, a package right there, which is actually pretty cool. And then at the very, very front at the bottom, it actually does say star field down there as well. So this was designed by Pope Art. Uh, and then inside of it, I'll see, actually here, let's just do it this way. Let's go to roaming camera here. Whoa. So inside of it, actually down there, look, it actually says developer edition as well. So it's got H5 developer, uh, NZXT H5 developer edition. So it's got like a metal tag on it. And then you have like caution glass as well. So I mean like, Lot, I mean, and again, very, very nicely printed in terms of the quality. So uh, not quite, not quite uh, like Falcon level, but I mean, still no, I mean like there's no marks or lines or anything like that along the, along where the printing is. Again, Starfield here in the front here. Um, and then even back here, it's it's very well done. Like the, the decals and stuff like that are actually very, very well done. So. That is the, uh, that is how it looks. It actually reminds me a little bit of the design that Blue Horse Studio did for their uh, special edition Starfield PC, um, which was actually pretty cool. So yeah. Hey, Ghost Spirit, thank you, no, Ghost Sprite, thank you very much for the super chat, dude. Appreciate it. Uh, S Rock, thank you very much for the tier one sub. 10 months right there. Remember guys, we get to $50, we get 50, we give away a $50 new gift card. So anyway, very, very nice case. 
Now, what are we putting inside of this case? Well, I think the coup de gras, like when I talked to NZXT about this, I was like, you know what? We need to call some favors, guys. We need to call in some favors, and we need to get one of these bad boys, which I've given away a number of these on my channel already, but if, if you're gonna do a special edition Starfield build, you gotta do it with the special edition Starfield stuff. So we're gonna be putting in the good stuff right here, which includes the Starfield Special Edition, Radeon 7900 XTX, and then also the Starfield Special Edition uh, Ryzen 7 7800X3D. So we're definitely gonna be making sure that we give this away as well. So let's go ahead and pop this open. Ugh. There we go, take these out, show these off. And then we'll send the box along to whoever decides to win. You never got one of these, Falcon? You got the you got the Avatar kit, but you never got one of these, huh? You're sensing a theme here? I hope so. So in here, we have that beautiful Starfield Special Edition 7900 XTX. Let's get some close-ups here so you guys can see this a little bit better. So looking even here at the close-ups, there we go right there. You can see just how stunning the whole thing essentially looks. Very, very clean looking uh, GPU. And then we also have on the other side, I mean, just, I mean, this thing is just so pretty. So it's got all of those, all of those, those extra bits, even on the side here, they have the, uh, they have the colors and everything, right? So beautiful GPU. So it should look, I mean, it's gonna look really, really good inside of the case. And then we have We also have this right here. This is the special edition Ryzen 7 7800X3D, which has the Starfield theming as well. There's nothing different about the CPU, obviously, because the CPU, but again, it has it all the way through here and then has like a ship bit there. And then of course the Constellation stripes all the way throughout as well. So really, really cool. And it will look, you know, again, power, all that sort of stuff will be the same, but everything else will be, you know, slightly you know, slightly different in terms of just the look. But the other thing too is that the only thing that's really kind of different about this is the box. So yeah, it is, I, I agree. It's one of the coolest custom GPUs out on the market for sure. And uh, honestly, start uh, the folks over at AMD uh, did a knockout job with um, the quality of this, this edition. Okay. So we're just gonna put the parts over here and let's go through what else we're putting inside of this build because it's not just about the special edition parts. So inside of this PC, we're gonna be putting a Ryzen 7 7800X 3D. Uh, we're gonna be using the NZXT N7 B650E motherboard. For the graphics card, we're using that Starfield Edition special Radeon RX 7900 XTX. For the SSD, we have three terabytes of storage, one terabyte NVMe for OS, and then we have a two terabyte game drive. For the RAM, we're gonna use 32 gigs of Kingston Fury RAM at 6,000 mega transfer. We're gonna be using that special edition Kings, uh, NZXT H5 Flow Starfield case. Uh, cooler, we're using the NZXT Kraken Elite 280 millimeter AIO in white. Uh, and then finally, we have the NZXT C850. Oh, actually, sorry, it's the C1200. So we're actually putting something a little bit more powerful in there uh, from a PSU standpoint. And that's actually the Elite 280 RGB, not the standard Elite. So it'll be a little bit different. So it should be a very, very beastly build and should look, re should look really, really good by the time we're all said and done. So it's, uh, and the other two is we are going to, for sure, be vertically mounting the GPU as well. So you do have the white vertical mount GPU kit. So you will get to see the build and see the GPU on its side. Now, when we ship the build to whoever the person who wins, we'll obviously remove the GPU and stuff to make sure that it's nice and clean. So yeah, it should be very, very cool. Very, very nice build. Okay. So there is that. Let's grab 
our stuff. Now somebody's asking, hey, what are the rules? The rules are simple. Uh, if you're in the US, Mexico, or Canada, then we are, you're eligible to win the PC. Uh, all you gotta do, again, you don't have to be subscribed to anything like that. You do need to be following on Twitch, subscribed on YouTube, and you have to be a member of the Discord. If you are worldwide, we will ship it to you. You can win, you just have to pay for customs and shipping. So that's how that works too. All right, so let's get the parts out that we need. Ugh. Okay. This is everything we need for the motherboard part. Uh, I don't know if there's an, I, right now I don't have any NZXT H9 builds on the, uh, on the docket right now, um, I, as far as I know. Now that doesn't necessarily mean that somebody, we won't have a commission or something like that that'll pop up and we'll do something like that. But as of right now, I don't have any currently uh, in the hopper. I have, and I have some, H, some height Y70, some height Y70s on the list, but nothing more than that. Okay, going to top down, guys. Ah, uh, love this MOBO, guys. Now, obviously, this build is benched. It was benched a little while ago, so we might have some, we might have some updates we need to do when we turn it on. But. Okay, taking all this stuff out because now it'll be used for whoever the winner is. It's all their extra stuff. There we go. Okay. Yeah, there was some ASMR there for sure. Came unpopped. <clears throat> there we go. It's always weird. We get a little bit, we get some like smudges and stuff like that when we take after we benchmark build. So just try and clean it up a little bit. There we go. Okay, let's get our CPU in there. There we go. Yeah, this board is this board is a very attractive board. There's some <clears throat> there's some quirks with it for sure, right? Especially uh, in terms of uh, like little weird support things. Like for instance, it doesn't have like an auto downloader and stuff like that. Which I mean, some people could say is a blessing, right? But just getting it up and running is a little bit more tricky than most modern day CPUs. Just given all the I mean, modern modern day motherboards. Just given the lack of like app support, like there's nothing in CAM that'll automatically download MOBO drivers and stuff like that. <clears throat> okay, so there is our CPU. Okay, CPU's done, it's in. Okay, let's get to our, PS, our sorry, our M.2s, which in this case are actually pretty simple. It's a 7800X 3D. There we go. Okay, got that open there. So first one is a one terabyte. There we go, there's our two terabyte. Okay, first we're gonna do here, 
one terabyte NVMe SSD here. Uh, clicks wise, why don't we go with, uh, why don't we go with 96? Hmm. We'll do 96 for clicks. Hey, Mo, uh, Mo Chill, thank you very much for the sub. There we go. Dropping our little segment in here. Yeah, we got Kingston. Kingston hooked it up for that. So huge shout out to Kingston for being supportive of our builds and giving us RAM and storage. NZXT providing all the other parts for this build today. There we go. Boom. And then one of the things I really like about this is you just, there it is, magnetic, it's back on. Okay, time for RAM. Let's grab our clicks. Oh yeah, this is this is gonna look this is going to be a very, very clean looking build. Okay. We'll give them the sticker if they want it. We will make it as clean as possible. We always do. Replica Gaming, think for the resub at tier one. Okay, here we go, 96. How are we looking on clicks? Here we go. One oh three point three. Dang, that was super good. That was like no problem. Done. Ninety eight point five on that one. Those were some solid, solid clicks, guys. Solid. Okay. There we go, clicks done. But you know what that means, guys? Because we gotta, we gotta put some brackets in. And if we're putting brackets in, that means... Justin Roby has a show. <laughs> A-I-A-I-O. And on that show, he builds PCs. A-I-A-I-O. With a dad joke here and a zip tie there. RGB, RGB, and Bondi Bikiki, Justin Roby has a show. A-I-A-I-O. Solar flares from Alpha Centauri. What is going on? Okay, here is all the stuff for the AIO. Uh, loudest clicks, I think were like 108 or something like that. They were really loud. Hey, Levy 2 Gamer, thank you for the sub. Bison D, five months right there. Okay, I'm looking for this right here. Yeah, it's a Billboard Top 10, for sure. Remember guys, you are there. This is open to somebody to win too. Somebody's gonna win this PC today. Okay, so we're gonna take this out. Here 
Remember, if you want a day, Mochi last. Thank you very much for the five gifted subs. We are now six subs away from that $50 new A gift card. It's gonna be May. AM5 on the bottom. Okay, so what we're doing is when you look at these, this is important to show, just so you guys can see this, is that, so it says right here, see how it says AM5 with the thing. So these actually have, they actually have like little slots and latches on them. So for this particular build, we need to make sure that those little notches are up at the top. So when I put these on, before I put these covers on, you just gotta pop these and then these long screws just basically go in and then screw down. And what it does is that determines how high this sticks off of the, how high this essentially sticks off of the IHS. So that's what we're doing is just making sure that that's put in correctly. Yeah, turn the light on so it's correct now. I try to show you guys when we build, like how if you were gonna follow along, say for instance you got this case and you weren't able to get everything, or maybe you were lucky enough to win one of these off of the off of the uh, the good old interwebs. Like if you wanted to follow along on an H5 build and build the same thing, you absolutely could. So we try to show you everything. They're wizards, huh? It's a wizard, Harry. Undertaker, it all depends. That's, that's such a loaded question. What you can do is you can essentially look at a, a weight for a PC on NZXT and then put in the value and then that'll give you an idea of what it costs. But there's no way for us to, to give you a, even a ballpark of what that would do. So, I wish there was an easy way for us to give you that information. It really does, it do, it really does very wildly. We're just making sure that it's all packed up nicely. So if somebody does something and like wants to replace the AIO or whatever it was, we, we they can do that. Okay, so there we go. Brackets installed. Let's put on a little thermal paste. This is the N7 B650E from NZXT. It's a little bit of a pricey it's a little bit of a pricey MOBO, but the one thing that you're getting with it is just a ridiculously clean aesthetic. No, Mochi, the 4090 price will not drop. When the 4090 upgrades, so like say for instance, a 5090 or something else, then what'll happen is that they will stop production and then they will sell through them. They, never, they will never need to drop the price. Okay, so let's throw some uh, throw some uh, some good old thermal paste on this bad boy. Oh, I like that blondie. Yeah, MSRP will stay the same. And I don't even know. I mean, inflated prices like I I don't even know that too, right? Because again, it just really depends on what goes on with China and the embargoes and all that sort of stuff. Those things have been so in demand. Okay. There we go. Nice, easy, smooth. It's like smooth jazz, but smooth thermal paste. I 
I'm really good. Yeah, I am hireable for morning toast. You guys uh, need me to come over and spread the morning toast thermal paste. Yeah, I'm all over it. It's uh, pretty cheap too, 10,000 hour. But I mean, dude, best buttering you've ever had. Mayo works too, I do mayos. It's like, you know, some people do bar mitzvahs and, but, you know, bar mitzvahs and wedding, I do mayo and butter, you know. I'm multi-talented for sure. All right, thermal paste is spread. Let's go back to static, let's grab our case. It's over here. I was like, where's my case? Here it is, the beautiful special edition. Starfield H5 Flow. Looking nice and clean. So we'll start with taking the panels off. PC guy, I don't do magic shows anymore. That's, a, that's not doing it anymore. Ever since that one person disappeared and never came back, they can never pin it on me. Okay, we're grabbing our stuff from the back here. So it's like strapped right here. What you do to get this off, by the way, is just remove this. Don't do what I was doing and try to pull it through. By the way, great place to hide cables underneath this thing. Uh, Levy two near the end of the stream somewhere near the end of the stream, not at the very end. It's all part of the, we want people to stick around. That's the point. It's about getting viewership and letting people see and letting them see parts and hardware and all that sort of stuff. I mean, that's why we have 700 people here right now. Yeah, that was, I, org, it was, it was, I mean, they can't prove anything. I, that blood was there before. Yeah, and we get to show people how to build a PC, right? Like, it's not about the giveaways. It's, it's about the whole process, right? So that's why, and we, and that's why people have to be present. You know what I mean? It's like, it's, there's some investment from the viewer too. Okay, next up. Uh, how's he, because it's you, 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 the only way to really know that is a lot of times there are a lot of little separate things that the PC's doing that people don't know that they're doing. Okay, here we go, guys. Look, here's like that, that, that shining. Here's Johnny. <laughs> there you go. Okay, so now we have everything off. The one thing that's gonna be interesting, guys, like, like since I'm looking at this, like here at the side, again, it's beautiful, but I don't want, I, I don't know if we want the vertical mount to cover this. I don't know if that's important or not. I don't know if it matters, but it's, it's, it's unique. I've never seen a plate on one of these cases before. Guys, six, we, can we get six subs? Let's, uh, let's hit it towards the next goal. We're at 40, oh, sorry, we need four. We just need four subs so we can go towards the $100 after this. Yeah, they did it. Pope did a great job. And then obviously NZXT did a great job of building it out too. Okay. So the, one of the things about this case, which is unique, right? And I'll show you this with the roaming camera here. Is up here, this little thing right here, this little cable. So just so you know, does a really good job of holding that in so you can get that out and then now you can just take out the cable really nicely but it's just a nice way to hide 
that cable. There we go. Okay, and then I can pull this through. Okay, so we got all that out. Case is stripped, it's naked and afraid. Okay, here we go. Let's pop this down. I have to say, guys, this case is very, very pretty. Okay, so there's the case now from the top. And then now we just get to continue the lines, which is one of the reasons I love using this MOBO specifically. Just like that. Let's grab our Uh, I don't know if they've announced the price. They might have. They may have announced the price. Uh, Tom would know. Oh, there is no. Okay, we don't have a price. Okay, there you go. There we go. I think it's the second bag. I can never remember which screws it is in this one. Where is my... Okay, well at least that's... Feels like the right ones. I guess we'll find out. We, you do not do international shipping. You have to cut, if you want to win international, you have to cover international shipping and custom. I don't know if that's the right. this one. I think it was the other one. I think that was the right screw. There we go. Okay. There we go. Yeah, Cole, they're, they're, they're great cases. They are, they're really, they really are very good cases. All right. Let's see if I can get this. I always guess wrong on some of these screws. There we go. Uh, who favorite case to build in? Ooh, I, I there's a lot of cases I actually really like building in. Um, I really like the Lee and Lee Landcool 216. That one's a really fun one to build in. Um, 
Did I literally just choose the wrong? I think I did. I think I just chose the wrong one again. I'm doing, I'm batting a thousand right now, guys. I just gotta make sure I get the right screw on. Um, I don't mind building, the H9 Elite is fine to build in. Like in terms of building, I really like the P500 uh, or the G500. Those are good to build in too. I really enjoyed those, building a nut case. Why are you alone in here tonight? I don't know. I am by myself today. I was actually really surprised. Um, but yeah, this is, this is all there is, just, just me and you, buddy. I was just, just doing some work watching the stream, and I wasn't hearing anybody chime in, so I was like, let me take a look over here. Yeah, nobody came in today. I think Damien, that was like a one-time thing because he, he knew about the laptop. There we go. Okay. Yeah, it, was it was really good having him on there with uh, with that laptop knowledge, too. Yeah. Again, the cooler we haven't put in yet. the stream a lot better. People are saying, where's the cooler? We haven't done it yet. Passive cooling. Yeah, we're just gonna let it. We're uh, we're gonna ship Bmock to your house, and he blows on it. He's like, I really like the NZXT. NZXT cases are actually fun to build in, and they used to be really terrible for airflow, and that has changed significantly. In fact, one of the best airflow cases we tested was the NZXT H6 Flow. I'm gonna say for uh, for a for a good price and a great looking case, the MV5 is really good to build in. Yeah, that that is also a great case. There's lots of good cases now. Like we've had like a we've had like a renaissance of good cases actually. I think a lot of companies finally got it that they were like, oh yeah, I need to have airflow, and then with reviews, like people actually saying, oh yeah, no, and then it has to be good to build in. So, you want the building PC experience to be fun. Hey, Mochi, thank you very much for the five, the fiver. That takes us up to the next tier for the giveaways, guys. go there we go next goal okay just putting all the I'm getting all the extra screws in here I don't want to I don't want anybody to lose any screws yeah I know they they did say that and then they made a bunch of airflow cases Maybe they just meant they weren't going to put the word airflow in their case. Oh, Maybe. we got Tom in here. Whoa, Tom joined today? Holy moly. What's it's up, everybody? It's celebrity edition today. How you doing, Tom? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. How about you guys? Happy New Year to everybody. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Took a, a break from creating Skynet. <laughs> <laughs> the Death Star. Okay, so we got that in. The build's all nice and completed. Now what we're going to do, guys, we're going to work on the AIO. I'm going to throw in a couple fans just to make sure we get some light inside the case. Really want to highlight the pieces. We're going to be front mounting the AIO, which is actually okay in this case. And I think, you know, something that people used to struggle with with the older H5 before they made the H5 Flow was because this case didn't have that nice little fan that they have now at the bottom. So now down at the bottom of the case, which you can see, there's actually a fan down here and that fan feeds airflow directly to the GPU. So we don't have to worry as much about 
front mounting an AIO because it actually gets direct airflow, which is nice. And it feeds, the, feeds it very, very well. But I do wanna make sure there's some light inside of the case. So the way I'm gonna do that is I am going to go ahead and put an exhaust fan here and here, which is fine, right? We're gonna go ahead and put two exhaust fans, one to just basically light here, and then of course an exhaust. It'll still be pretty much close to neutral because we have 140 intakes pulling through the IO, and then uh, we'll have two there. So it'll still be good for dust control and temps. So, so we're gonna use their new F120 core RGB fans. Do, do, do. Need my knife, which I put over here. The only thing that gets a little hard is now we have to we have to worry about plugging in. Luckily, this K this has specific um, uh, adapters for the NZXT color stuff. I mean, their RGB stuff, so I don't have to worry as much about adding extra graphics or something like that. It does, but I just like to apply thermal paste anyway, because it's fun. And I, I get to do what I want, because it's my build. Can a, can a person just have some fun, just because he likes to put in thermal paste? I could be okay, right? Right, Tom, I can do it my way, right? Did you change the fans on me? No. Uh, the list says uh, the duos, not the cores. Yeah, I don't know where that, because even the AIO is the Kraken Elite 280, not That's what the, I have. the 280 RGB, the Kraken Elite 280 RGB. That's what I have on there. Okay, yeah, so I don't know. I wasn't going to put duos in with the, because those fans are the cores, so I didn't want to mismatch fans. So I don't know if I changed it. I don't know. I did, did I put fans? Uh, if I did, yeah, you it was, put, yeah, it was my bad. I didn't put change the duos. it. I just put wrong information. I'm just going to start putting <laughs> thermal paste on everything, guys. Take that. How are we doing likes on YouTube, guys? And remember, if you're just now joining... Uh, we're going to be doing the giveaway sometime over the course of the stream. We are going to give away at least, I, I'm guessing, a $25 new gift card on top of that. Um, and then if you want to, you do not need to be sub to win. There's no subs to win, but subs do get extra entry. So that's, that is, that is something we do do. We do do. I said do do. <laughs> I know. Dad joke. I wish I could do do out some gift cards. <laughs> We're getting there. Uh, Doze, we do we build to order, which we do, I don't build very many. I don't really have time to anymore. I probably do two commissions a month. The rest of them are always new cases and more about the content and showing you guys the latest cases. But I do, I do actually have a couple people who I do commissions for just to, to have something be different. So we can show people what commission, good commission choices would be like. But the problem was, is there was like a time, do you guys remember this? I think Tom probably does. BMOC, you probably do too. It was December of 2022, and we built like 20 Lee and Lee 011 cases. And I was like, this oh, is boring. Insane. Lee and Lee cases, Corsair fans. Yeah, it was like over and over again. And I was like, nobody's gonna wanna watch this. And so then I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna do new builds with new cases and then show people how to appropriately pair them. Oh, we got a dad joke. Dad joke request. Now, another Robitech dad joke phone out. Here we go. Yeah, I think people got burnt out on the O11s. Yeah, and they still, like, if you want to watch those, you can go watch, like, like uh, BP Paradox and tons of people building them over and over again. My daughter said she was cold, so I told her to sit in the corner because it's 90 degrees. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> 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 that one was good. I like that one. Dad joke. We did do a setup tour video a while ago, um, 
and nobody watched it. Like, so I was like, well, I guess people don't want to watch it. Uh, I am supposed to build Death VR. I've been asking them to send me one. I just need to follow up with Mike from Thermal Take. He will. I just haven't yet. I will. But yeah, I do want to build in that case. Yeah, I know. Raxus, the only reason I was down, though, is because it's an 011 Dynamic XL. So, like, if it's a new case, it doesn't bother me as much because I'm like, that's not as big of a deal. But when it was, like, three or four of them in a row, I was like, uh... Yeah, the set, it's an old, older one, but yeah, it's there. Okay, that's not working as well as I wanted. I'll find that link. There we go. I think really, honestly, people want to see case reviews. They want to see AI reviews. They want to hear, they want to hear what I think about builds. Because, you know, I, I, I still probably, I build in more cases than pretty much everybody, I think. Um, I think Gear Seekers is close, right? But even then, like, because we build PCs, you know, three times a week, um, not many people build as much as I do. Okay. We're gonna run that along the bottom there. I'll do that here in a minute. Oh, that's the old studio tour. Yeah, that's the oldest. That's the one that I did and nobody watched it. Look at, look at. What? Look at, uh, pretty sure ZC, ZTT clears you. Uh, outplayed, he, ZTT, I've watched his stuff too. I don't, I don't think so. We do 150 builds a, a year on average. Uh, and I've done over, over a thousand, I think over 15, 15 or 1600 PC builds. Yeah, I think, I don't, I don't think, I, I've watched ZTT. I don't think he does as many builds as I do. I could be wrong. I, I'm just saying, but I do it more. Uh, we had, so just some stats from last year. We have, we did, we had 4.5 million live views, 10 million YouTube, vi 10 million YouTube video views, 50 plus million uh, short views. Um, and then uh, we gave away $175,000 in hardware. Um, and then we built 90 PCs on stream, 90 PCs on stream, 150 PCs total. Yeah, we build more PCs because not, yeah, so we don't build all of our PCs on stream. Big Radio says you forgot custom Robitech original songs. Oh yeah, I should have. Yeah, I should have put that on there. And I have a lot of respect. Isn't ZTT? ZTT is the guy who has the dude from. Hey, there's a YouTube goal already. Isn't there a guy stealing his content? Did you guys hear about this? It was ZTT, right? And I have the right person, right? Oh, Falcon Northwest is always, Kelt is my favorite. And I love that he hangs out so much. Yeah, there's this guy who is like, he's in Sweden, right? And what he does is he just like ZTT posts something and then literally the next day, the guy posts the same thing just with slightly different words. Oh, he did, Scott? Did he really? That's, that's awesome. Wait, what happened in Japan? I have friends who are going there like, I have friends who are going there like tomorrow or like late next, uh, in late in January. What Earthquake and tsunami. Really? I missed mm -hmm. that. Where did it hit? Mm, I'm not quite sure, I'll tell you in a minute. That was a big, I, so I was in Japan for the Kobe earthquake and I was there, dude, that was scary. Uh, it hit the north-northwest of Suzu. 
Okay. And there was a plane crash too? Yeah, two planes collided with each other on the runway. At Haneda or Narita? Uh, Tokyo. Uh, yeah, but there's well, two airports at- Oh, Haneda, sorry, yeah. Wow, that's terrible. It was a uh, oh, wow. Japan Airlines collided with the Japan Coast Guard plane. Wow, that's unfortunate. But uh, it sounds like everybody on the JAL plane got away. Yeah, outplayed. The thermal pace is going to be fine for a long time. I have a lot of hours in Starfield as well, and I haven't finished it either. Well, thank you for sharing that with me. I did not know about that stuff and it makes me sad. So um, I love Japan, grew up there. Um, yeah. Well, now I'm curious. I gotta, I, gotta, I gotta reach out to Zach and find out who built more PCs. I, does, is anybody like a big, does anybody follow Zach pretty heavily? Because I've watched a lot of his stuff. I don't see it. I mean, he does, he covers a lot, but he doesn't seem to do a lot of not as many PC builds. Yeah, that is a bad disaster. 57 dead, geez. That's a lot of people from a quake in Japan. Uh, I know I know some, like I know Doi uh, Tashimashite. Uh, I know, uh, I know, I, I know some words that aren't okay. Um, and then I know like, uh, I used to know a lot more. My sister is fluent. Uh, but I am not fluent anymore. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna run these up top here, and then I'm just gonna get these going. And then I use this little nub here. Yeah, that's what I thought. It's yeah, it's, he does a lot of content. Like he shoot, like he's like me. He has at least a piece of short every day. Um, but I didn't know I didn't know he did as many builds. I am am I fluent in anime? Uh, I know some German. Uh, I know some German. Uh, I barely know English, um, and uh, I'm really good at accents. But yeah, that's kind of it. I speak ninety percent anime. I actually really like German. German's a fun language to speak. And I've been to Germany, I've been to Germany, I flew to Germany 89 times in one year um, for, for, Christ, for uh, Rise, Son of Rome. That means, yes, there were times when I flew to Germany multiple times in a week because we were bringing builds back and forth and it was faster. And then I did Gamescom, but I've been to, I've been to Germany a lot. I actually had a dedicated hotel room in... Uh, in Frankfurt at the Marriott because you couldn't live there because there were rules. So I had, to, I had to go back and forth. And you could only, like you had to go back and forth for how much time you do. I think German is a fun language to speak. I think it's just super fun. Klingon is a fun language, yes. I could learn Klingon. Is it, did anybody, did anybody like, did anybody like, uh, say for like a new year's resolution, they were gonna do a language. How about you guys, Bmock, Tom, anybody gonna do a language as a new year's resolution? Oh, Hawaiian. Yeah, I met somebody who said that their language they wanted to learn is ancient Hebrew. I was like, whoa. Okay, so we're just no, getting uh, this cleaned up. No language for me. No language for you? Not this year or Tom next. Tom already knows binary, so. I know I binary, English, stuff. and uh, a little bit of Arabic. Wow, Arabic, eh? Certain dialect of it, yeah. Uh, I think everybody, people asking about the the fans, I think, honestly, everybody is waiting to find out what happens with the Fantex Lee and Lee lawsuit before you see, because there was like, there's some, there's some like legit, people are just waiting to see how that whole thing ends up with the patent fight that's going on right now. 
Well, because if you know Arabic, right? Arabic is a Baidai language, right? And then Hebrew is also Baidai. I want to learn Egyptian hier hieroglyphs. You can't really speak that, though. How do you speak in pictures? All right, here we go. <laughs> okay, now, one of my favorite things about this case is how, the, the, how to hide the cables, which is actually really fun. Okay, so let's go to the roaming camera here. So what we have for cables for this, which is, it's unfortunate. It would have been nicer if these cables were white, but let's start with the USB 3.2 cable here. So this is what we have right here. We're gonna run it right here on the side right there. Now on the other side, you actually see the cable. Now the plug is right here. I'm gonna show you guys getting that plugged in. Go to roaming, and then there's two, actually two of them here. And the thing that they, what is really nice about this case is the cable is super flexible. So you just gotta line it up and push it in right there. And it, and the good thing is, is like, look, because of how it fits, how it fits, it looks, it just, it's very clean. One of the things I really enjoy about this case. So you end up with a really, really kind of clean look. Okay, and then now we're gonna go to another case over here. So we'll go to the roaming one on this one here. And then we're gonna grab our, this is our USB-C right here. There's our USB-C. Why did you, I think I need to charge this. Okay, so there's our USB-C right there. That is gonna go up here. And if we go to side view here, that's just gonna go right here. This one is unfortunately not as malleable. And then, did I choose the right direction? Oh, no, I did, I chose the right direction. And then again, I wanna get it kind of caught up on that lip right there, because I want it to stay 90 degrees. So that's, that's important to me. Okay, now the other cables, I thought this was interesting. Check out the colors on this HD audio. They're not, they're actually not ketchup mustard, they're like, I don't, know, I don't even know how to describe them. They're, they're almost like uh, pastel. Uh, so they're like red. There is some red, but it's hidden underneath the black. So a little bit less easy to see than some of the other ones. So we're just gonna run that back over here and it's gonna come out right here. So there's our HD audio. It's gonna come through that bottom one. The other thing I really love about this case is the front panel is an integrated front panel. So it makes it really easy. So we're just gonna run that right here, and it's gonna come out right here. If the, case, if the cable stayed, that'd be nice. And then the last thing we have is, you can see we actually have a fan cable. This is for the bottom airflow fan that comes with the case. You can actually see it right here, that bottom airflow fan. This is the cable for that, and that's gonna go down here at the bottom, right here. Okay, so there's all of our cables. Let me just lay it down. And then we'll plug in front panel right there. System fan three right here. There we go. And then HD audio. Right here. If I plug it in correctly. There we go. All right, so there's all of our cables. So just showing you here with good old roaming camera here. So we have our front panel connector right there. Literally says front panel. Luckily, it's just one giant cable. Next to it, we have, this is our system fan that's basically to this fan right here. So it's gonna go right here. And then our HD audio is all the way on the far right side, right down over there. And then again, we have our USB-C 
and then we have our USB 3.2. And then up here is where we're actually gonna plug in the one of the RGBs for our uh, rear fan, our rear RGB fan. We're gonna plug that in right there. And then the other one, this third fan is gonna get shared with the AIO stuff that we're gonna put in here in a minute. This is the part where I start tearing my hair out. Why, why is that Motub? That's why I kind of show you guys. I like try to give you like the in-depth look so you can actually see how to make it, how to install it, make it look nice, all that sort of stuff. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is just quickly clean up. These cables. Oh, guys, we have the odd even going on right now. If you're curious, zip tie man, zip tie man, guess the count of them if you can. Even's, Even's odds. odds, who can know? Make your wagers on every show. Hey now, Roby's the zip tie man. So basically that is your chance to go. If you're over on Twitch, you can basically vote on which is gonna happen. Uh, if we're gonna have odd or even number of zip ties when we're all said and done. So you choose and then you vote with your uh, channel points. And then that's how you can spend channel points on unlocking things like the 7600X giveaway that we're doing later this week and stuff like that. Now the one thing I'm trying to do here, you'll see me do this, is I'm bringing cables up and then I want them to be at 90 degree angles with being coming out of the case so you just have a really clear bend. So that's what you're seeing me do here. And I learned all this from Falcon Northwest. Now, Kel, those guys are my heroes. They're amazing builders. Okay, now we're just gonna do this right here. If you've never had a chance to see a Falcon Northwest build in person, it is truly a sight. It is. Um, I got to see that one when I was when I was in Seattle with you last time, and it was absolutely gorgeous. It's amazing what they're able to do. And I mean, the, for pre built right? Like, I take time. <clears throat> These guys have to do it and make sure that it's done, like, quickly. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, not quickly. I mean, they obviously care about every build, but at the same time, it's like, you know what I mean? Like, they're still, they're still a business, and they just care so much about the builds. So hopefully we'll have some more Falcon Northwest stuff uh, in 2024, guys, for sure. I'm, I'm sure Kelt will let us cover some of his stuff. There we go. So what I'm doing here is just getting all the cables into the final spots, clean them up. Now remember guys, the giveaway is gonna happen. We're gonna give away stuff over the course of the stream. You do not need to be a sub or anything like that to win. Uh, if you wanna get extra entries, you can obviously sub, but there is, I, I, I need to be super clear. I, I don't, it doesn't matter how many times I try to tell people, you do not need to be subscribed to win the PC. Like I've had some people go onto Twitter and be like, that's illegal. And I'm like, dude, I, you don't have to be. So yeah. I'm just, I wanna make sure that's really clear. You get extra entries for doing it, but you do not need to. Okay, we're gonna take this little bit out. This is just cleaning up our cables temporarily. Hey, I'm an idiot, thank you for the sub. It always makes me feel bad when I say that, say that to myself. I'm like, <laughs> people are like, oh. It's kind of weird to talk to yourself and degrade yourself all at once, but. And sub to yourself, I should have said 19, so that way people knew. Versus like, yeah, we knew that, Roby. Thanks, guys, for being so supportive. Okay, what we're doing Roby, here what? is just cleaning up the case. What's your zip tie budget for 2024? Uh, $20 million. <laughs> Feels healthy. I feel like I'll be okay with that number. I think that's that's a good number.
Yeah, we're gonna start doing solid gold zip ties. I'm looking for a zip tie partner. It'd be hard to do solid gold zip ties. The malleability on that would be pretty rough. Like, like I, something tells me building those would not be fun. Just get a X670E Tai Chi motherboard to match them. Okay, there we go. Okay, I think we have what I need right now. There we go. Okay. Okay, let's clean this up. Time to cut all the zip tie little bits. This is like the most fun part right here. There we go. Okay. And then what I'm gonna do to, is I'm gonna go ahead and put a zip tie right here in this like middle of this figure eight. Main reason being is just to keep this from having like a weird bend. So that'll be kind of take care of this thing. And it looks like an infinity. I'm sure that means something in Starfield, right? Okay. Okay guys, that is all of the front panel connectors hooked up. Now it's time to get the AIO built and into the case. Pretty straightforward process here. And then what we would, what I normally do and what I probably will do is I'll probably stick the cable up here. I wonder, uh, we'll see, sometimes they have the mounting for them but this is, a, this is where you nip, typically mount them if you were gonna get like the H5 Elite that's where it actually would be pre-mounted with its cute little screws. But here's the side view of how it looks right now. Nice and clean, everything in its place. So nice and clean, straightforward. All the cables look good. Like looks like almost like a pre-built NZXT system right now. Even the end in the back, also looking nice and straightforward there. So again, we just want it to be clean for whoever essentially wins the build. All right, so next up, let's grab our AIO, get it built. We're using the Kraken 280 Elite. Now this, actually, oh, I, I was kind of, kind of got ahead of myself. Ugh. I do have to take this out. Cause it's gonna, the fans are gonna go through the front side. There we go. There we go. Okay, so here's our little controller. We'll take care of that here in a minute. Got our two 140 millimeter fans, all the cobles, as they like to say. Get rid of the stuff I don't need. Don't need that.
can. I'm also, what I took out, I took out essentially the four big nuts, putting the rest of the stuff away because it's all stuff I don't need. So we'll need that. Captain Ropo with the tier one sub. Hey, Captain Ropo and PC Wizard too. I missed that one too. Oh, PC Wizard, yep. Okay, there we go. Little Velcro action. <clears throat> Key part here is just taking out all of our plasticky stuff, getting everything out, prepped. The one reason somebody says, Roby, why do you replace the thermal paste? This is why. On the NZXTs, they only put, it doesn't cover the entire IHS and both on Intel and AMD you do. So I will remove this and put my own thermal paste on because they don't cover the entire top. That used to work really well back in kind of the olden days, back when PCs were hand cranked, but now. <laughs> So that's why we're also replacing our thermal paste. Hey, red red bud tree, thank you for the prime sub. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna do tubes up because it looks better and it's still below the pump, which is fine. So this is gonna go like this. Oh, maybe this all has to be on one side. Oh, wait, sorry. This is gonna be tubes, oh, okay. Yes, I am brain farting right now. There we go. So tubes are gonna go up, it's gonna be like this. And then we're gonna stick our, so, oh man. How to make this so you guys can see a little bit better. I think I have to go this way. Okay, like that. Hold on, and when I put this in. I'm gonna make sure I do this right. Okay. And then you run your cables out of the side here. We'll do the bottom one and then we'll use the side camera for the top one. Now, a good thing is all I need is the long screws. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna run the cables through this little spot right here. And then just worry about mounting the bottom one first. Okay, and then once you get the corner in, same thing with the other corner. Once you kind of get one screw in and one fan down, it becomes a whole lot easier. But you need it to lock. There you go. Okay, so that's locked.
And then we're just gonna repeat the process on the top. Fan. So this is gonna run through this little hole right here. Get our one screw in in the corner. There we go. And then even before I put all the other screws in, I only do two screws, only to test, because I want to make sure that I did this right. Too many times have I put this whole thing together and then be like, got mixed up. So just get it to the point where it's done and you can test it. See, like I just did, because I freaking did it upside down. Even after all that freaking work, I still did it upside down. <clears throat> this is why you test before you Now, the, the, the fans are in the right way. Now we can do this again. There we go. Now the fans are in the right way. Again, still gonna do it the same way. Just put two screws in. Main reason being is that you still wanna do the test fit just to make sure the fans are in the right, the, like they're in the right placement when they're in the front, so you can make adjustments. Okay. One more time. Now for this, there are little holes little holes where the the fan cables are going to come through just like that makes it really easy then as you grab these, essentially now that you have these done, just pull them as you pull the, the fan cases through. And then that goes like that. And I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna tighten it. I'm just gonna get it in there, make sure that our fans are appropriately placed. So those look nice and there we go. So those look, those look like they're in a good spot. So now I can just go and finish putting the fan cables, things in. Now you don't wanna over tighten here.
All right, so now our fans are in. Everything looks good. These can get put away. Roby, uh, Yukina 2387 says, Hey, Roby, I'm looking for a good lav mic for doing builds on my YouTube channel. Yours sounds really good. What brand is it? So I have, look it up. Do, do, do. And I can get, I can have, I can send it to Tom and then Tom can put a link <clears> for you. <throat> once this kind of loads up. Okay, so that looks good. Come on, Amazon, what are you doing? Oh, okay, there we go. So I have the Sennheiser AVX digital mi wireless microphone system. So I'll send you the, here you go. And I'll give it to Tom so he can put it in the chat. Except for you clicked on the wrong teams. This is, I hate, hate you. Okay, hold on. Sending this to Thomas. There you go. <clears throat> Got it. Okay, so now that we have all of the cables here, The wow stick is awesome, and we have we have a link to that all the time. People love the wow stick, dude. It's 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 an amazing screwdriver. Okay, guys, so that is done. Let's get the uh, let's get it mounted onto the onto the onto the CPU. Okay, what we're doing is we're gonna take this out, remove this, because we're using AMD. There you go. Get rid of our extra thermal paste. go. Clean plate now. Perfect. Okay, now what we're going to do, put our cable on. We can actually do it. Let's do it this way. Okay, here we go. There we go. Oh, it fell. My garbage is getting too full. Okay. Let's 
grab our little cable split here. here. Plug this in right here at the top. And now, screw it down. Well, that's what we want it to do. We want it to look good. There we go. There's that one. Last bit here. This is always best to do, like start it with your fingers because it's just kind of a weird angle for the. No, it's intaking through the front and then you have exhaust out of the top and the back. And then you also have intake from the bottom. So there's intake here Intake here, uh, sorry, intake, intake, exhaust, exhaust. And this will help draw air through the AIO as well. Okay, so now for the last part. Ugh. Side view. Yeah, I really like this microphone. There we go. This is all the cables pulling through. And then you basically just, all I want is my cables to be up off the top. And you want to just cover it. There we go. And then I just need my one little bad boy here. Okay, so what I'm doing, it's gonna show you guys real quick. So up here at the top, that right there is where I plugged in the AIO, is that header right there. Main reason being is that usually you'd plug in the fans, but given the fans are controlled from the AIO specifically, that's why I plugged that one in so it doesn't throw an error. The other option is you could plug it into AIO if you wanted to, but then you just, you'd have to disable that, that header on the uh, the error for that header in the bio, so I'm not gonna worry about that, not overly worried about it, because everything's gonna be controlled by cam. So. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna worry about threading this. Just to kind of hide it. No, it's drawn from the people watching. 
on YouTube and on on YouTube and on Twitch. Can you plug the NZ into a CPU fan header if the radiator fans are connected to the hub? Does it have a fan out? I don't remember off the top of my head. What was the question, Robbie? You said, can you plug the fan hub into the CPU fan header if that's where the fans are? I don't remember if the CPU fan hub has a, if it does and there's a fan out, then yes, you can absolutely do that. And that's the right thing to do because then it's sending connects, it's sending the speeds to those, to those fans. Uh, yeah, for the CPU. What what fans you're going to put on there. If you want them ramping up when the CPU hits load or whatnot, but yeah. Yeah. Because the only thing going from the hub to the motherboard is just the uh, the data for the, for the fans to send it back and forth. There we go. You got somebody asking about the the card that you're using, Ruby. Is it? It's, it's a reference model, correct? The GPU. Right. Yes, it's the reference model from. But it's yeah, it's a reference model. It's an AMD reference model, um, but it's Starfield themed. Okay, guys, once this last thing gets kind of hooked up, then we're at the, we're kind of at the tail end at that point. There it is, okay. Okay, so now what we're gonna work on is just the, getting these cables controlled. I just need to make sure I don't pull this stuff out of the... There you go. So going to side view. Okay, there we go. It's up, it's up above, so you won't, it'll, it'll be behind the fan, but it'll still look nice, okay. Okay, now a couple things you're gonna work on real quick is we're gonna take the exhaust fan here, top down. And then this is going to get plugged in up here. Because we have an RGB. Hey, Igor, thank you for the five gifted subs. I'll show you what I did here in a minute. I still want to just grab one more cable. Zip tie these guys. Underneath. I 
And I know I say this every single stream, but it's kind of like Jack Reacher, where in PC builds, like it's the little things like details matter, you know what I mean? Especially if you're gonna, like with the amount of money that these things have a tendency to cost, like just making it, like taking the little bit of time and attention to really make a build as clean as possible, just those little details matter, in my opinion. There we go. Okay, so I'm just gonna show you real quick this little connection thing I did back here. So what I did is this is from the rear fan. This is the RGB from the exhaust fan. And then that's the fan from the exhaust fan up there. So those are the two connections I did up here. So I have your RGB and then your exhaust fan. The other RGB header that's right there, that'll be for the hub that we'll take care of here in a minute. So hopefully you guys can see that. I think this might be dead. You charge my RGB. So there you go. So nice and clean. Okay. So next stop is just to finish up plugging in the back now. called the wow stick. Okay, now that we have this, now what I'm working on is just getting the, it's all about getting cables plugged in here. Okay, so, now what we have is we have this weird situation. So we're gonna take our RGB, because these are gonna go in the hub. So that's gonna go across. Okay, that's our RGB. These are gonna go down. There we go. And don't be afraid to redo your cable management as you get new cables. Zip ties are cheap. Some people are like, oh, I've already put a zip tie there. You can't do it again. Yes, you can. Totally, totally fine. Zip ties are not sentient. They have no feelings. They aren't mad if you only used them in the wrong place. You know what I mean? A lot of times it just becomes, it's a little easier to cable manage as you Do it together, you know what I mean? And the big thing is you just wanna hide the white cables under the black, that's what I'm working on here. like that. There we 
there we go. Now what I'm just doing is just re-getting the cables in to the groups. Hey, what's up, Figment? Oh, that's totally fine, Figment. Yeah, totally. Thank you for the referral, Figment. There we go. Okay, so this is where we're gonna run this up because this is gonna go up and into the, this is gonna go up and into the rest of the case. What is that, Blake Kane? Okay, so there we go. There's all that. I'm just gonna cut these. Okay, now, this we'll take care of here in a minute. This is gonna go down. I'm working on is getting these all plugged in. Oh shoot, did I really? No. No, oh, did I really? I wired the wrong one in. Son of a, I thought I checked that twice. I'm not like, I'm not like, uh, apparently I'm not like uh, Santa. I didn't check it twice. The longest one too. Okay, this is gonna go here. And then the other one is right here. That's gonna go down here, cause it's gonna plug in. And what I'm trying to do here, since I've got the links now, which is okay. This is always gonna, this, always, this particular part is always a little bit of a pain. But really what we're doing is we just wanna get the links to be right. best as we can be. That should work. I'm just going to zip tie this closed real quick. It should work for It should work for just holding it temporarily. Okay, that just will hold it, right? Because we'll we'll run all these cables down and all that sort of stuff. And then this will get run and all that stuff. Now I just want to check, check. I want to check our length against this bad boy, because this is where all of our RGB is gonna get plugged in. Okay. Let 
Getting this in. There we go. And there's a beautiful spot right up here at the top for this. Yeah, there, I've, I've got one, that's what I was showing you. I have one plugged into the motherboard, but the other three are, the other three are going into the, the hub here. This is where daisy chainable fans like have are so nice. Just makes this part so much easier and cable management so much easier. Okay. Let us now, last bit of this. This doesn't seem to Velcro at all. Oh, it does, okay. I was like, wait, this isn't Velcroing. Just gotta push it really hard. It's harder Velcro. Yeah, this Velcro is actually pretty thin. It's also magnetic, which I forgot about. So I didn't even really need to do that, but I did. Okay, so now we can run all these up. And then I'm gonna finish cable managing this. There we go. Okay, then we have one more. Right there. Okay, now let's cable manage this. Okay, so now we're gonna go to 90 degrees here. Hide these underneath. There we go. Okay. And then the big thing here, you just wanna keep these as hidden as possible. So as we run down the length, I wanna see these as little, as, I wanna see these white cables as little as possible. To 
take advantage of this one right here. There we go. There we go. I want to keep that one kind of connected right now. This is why, I mean, I can't wait for everybody to do daisy chainable fans. Like really nice, you know what I mean? If they still can't. Yeah, if they still can. Yeah, after the uh, lawsuit. Unless they do something like what Corsair did, you know? Which was like completely technology different. Okay, the front part is done. I'm just gonna add a couple more just to create some evenness. We got some people that didn't know about the lawsuit in chat. Oh yeah. Basically, Lee and Lee has sued Fantex and some other, one other company Thermal take. Um, thermal take, yeah, for their their um, their daisy chainable fan designs. So basically, saying that they have copied them, and so like outside, the only people they could really sue is Corsair because their system is so very different. Um, so it'll be interesting. Asus also has daisy chainable fans, um, but they were not in the lawsuit. So um, Asus has them on some of their AIOs and stuff like that. So it was interesting, but they don't sell them independently as far as I can tell. They're only part of their AIOs. Uh, Corsair's connectors and the tech itself actually has a, the reason they're so expensive is that the amount of um, uh, sensors and stuff, they actually have uh, like smart components inside of them as well. And then the, comp the actual uh, attachment themselves is, it, is doing more than just conducting electricity. So it's, it's actually, a, it's actually m they're way more technologically advanced than the Lee and Lee fans are. Okay, now we're just, guys, we're almost done, sorry. This is the thing about cable management, just take a little bit extra time. Not a lot. Again, you just end up with something just a very much cleaner. I like clean. Well, I mean, I don't know if it's necessarily money. I mean, yes, money is part of it, but the other thing too is that like, it's also like if you, how else are you gonna start differentiating fans? So there's there's some of that too, I can understand, right? That's That was a huge win for Lee and Lee in terms of, I mean, dude, I don't even know, I know how many people bought 
uni fans because of their ability to daisy chain. Okay guys, so there's that. Now we can start working on this. Just gonna do the same thing we just did with the left side with the right side. Just again, just cleaning up the cables. Hiding it as best we can. So the cable management is super clean. There we go. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna run this. Just wanna make sure the cable is long enough. Yes, okay. I want this at a right a right right hand angle. Or 90 degrees, as it is also called. How much do you cable manage yours? Be mocked pretty well, the ones that you, you build to sell? Uh, I do them functionally, so I don't go like oh. super in depth, but I try to make sure it's neat for the most part. Is that most of you guys? All functional. Like I'll mostly do the spine area and the, and the major cables. Um, it just depends on the build and how much I got going on with it too. But I do a lot better than I used to do. I used to just be like, all right, as long as the panel closes, it's good. <laughs> I've, I've, I, you, would you say that I have, I have impacted you in any way in terms of how much you do it or no? Oh, for sure, yeah. And, and it just, I mean, it definitely looks a lot better too, you know. It looks more professional, we'll say. Okay, there we go, guys. Definitely a much cleaner looking situation now. I've used a lot of zip ties in this build. A lot. Oh, there you go. I like that. Maiden says that he, if he does this cable management, he gets more inquiries when he has clean cable management versus when he doesn't. That's interesting. I think that's obviously area dependent for sure. A more picky clientele. I think, I think it's one of those things though that people don't, not everybody understands how much work it can be. You know what I mean? Like until you've done your own build. You may have no idea how much work it actually took to get the build to that level. Okay guys, now what I gotta do is I just gotta plug in these last two, but in terms of that's that's how the that's how the build looks now. So again, pretty clean. Everything looks nice, 90 degree angles. Again, just making sure that it's pretty straightforward. The NZXT is straight. So again, we just want something very, very clean when it's done. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna run and install these two USB headers, which are gonna go right in this hole right here. There. Go to side. Take a quick second. Grab some water. <sighs> Clean.
clean up my area a little bit. Just make sure all the, the extra stuff is picked up. And I will tell you guys, as much as somebody, if anybody tells you one thing that I always say is that helps me in terms of PC building is keeping a clean workspace. It makes all the difference. You lose less. It just it ends up it ends up just going better for you. So if you can take the time to keep your workspace clean, it will make a big difference. So build area looks good. Now what I'm going to do is just run and connect these last two cables here. Luckily, the beautiful thing about this N7 build, this N7 motherboard, is just how um, how many headers uh, USB headers it has. That's three. I actually really like. Okay, so there's those. Now we can finish up the cable management because this is the last part of the build. Last bit of the cable management, the rest of it is pretty easy. Dole, thank you very much, SRT. Thank you very much for the sub. Guys, don't forget, subs, you do not need to be subbed to win, but subscription, subscribing gets you extra injuries toward winning this PC, which we will be giving away at the very end of the stream, or near the end of the stream. Over a thousand people here now. PC reeling them in. That's right. It's uh, US, Mexico, Canada, and worldwide as long as you pay shipping and customs. Hey, customs. Justin. Um, yeah, what's up? The, well, we had talked about uh, the other day to um, Braythorn streaming tonight, if you're interested in doing oh, that later. Oh, nice. That'd be a nice thing. Blondie says uh, we should be coming up uh, for time for another hype train here shortly. So hopefully we can actually hit level five this time. Didn't quite do it last time. Okay, guys, this is the last little rat's nest down here. This isn't actually that big of a rat's nest, but what we're gonna work on is get this clean. There we go. He just he must stream late. It's like eight o'clock there now. Yeah, he went live uh, right around right after eight. He usually usually stays going on the later side of things. Okay, and then we just go like that. There we go. Okay guys, there it is.
Cables managed, they look clean. We're gonna do one more right here. Bring that one cable up a little bit higher. There we go. Mischief managed, exactly. Okay. Got a whole lot of likes on YouTube tonight, that's good. That is good. Okay, we are 11 subs away from 100. Let's hit that 100, guys, going into the, uh, the hype train here in just a few minutes. That way we can get in there and start unlocking some really cool giveaways. Remember, there's always stuff up for grabs as we start going in there. Things like GPUs, CPUs, all that kind of jazz. So if we, uh, if we want to hit a hype train and unlock some other giveaways, we can absolutely do that. I have some older uh, six, 6 Series GPUs we might throw up for grabs today. Okay, so there it is. There's the cable management. And then we also have it from the front too. So there it is, looking clean on both sides. Hype train incoming, there it is. El Solo Doctor. There we go, and the back. Looks nice and clean from the top. Like again, just a very nice looking build. Look at it from the front here real quick. Level two. Remember guys, if we get to level 10, $100, PayPal, whatever you want, that's what we wanna do. Level five, we unlock a $25 new gift card. Level 10, we give away $100 to whomever. And then uh, if we get to, uh, if we start getting up into the, the teens, that's when we start giving away things like, I don't know, like a 60, 6,500 or stuff like that. You can give away some like really, really cool like GPUs and stuff like that. But there is the build. So let's go ahead and put in the vertical GPU bracket now. because we want to make sure this looks good. There's level two, guys. Keep it going. Let's get to level five. Ninety-three. Okay. The dev plate, oh yeah, I know. I wanna look at it and see how it hits. I wanna, I'm gonna pop it in. If it looks bad, then we'll not put it in. Cause it might not actually cover it, so we'll have to see. Yeah, so you'll still see the dev plate. It's still, it'll still be there. Okay, so we won't cover the dev plate, which is good. Come on, you guys, let's unlock the other giveaway. We can get to level five. Remember, and every if you sub, you're entered to win this one. You have the Cyberpunk PC that you're gonna get extra entries for. You also have the, uh, the uh, Twitch PC. We have uh, other pre-built PCs that we're gonna be giving away and all of those get you extra entries towards, if you're subbed, you get extra entries towards winning those PCs. So definitely worth, uh, definitely worth winning. I mean, definitely worth subscribing. Vertically mounting specifically, so you can use your Prime sub, which is free if you have Amazon. 
Uh, we're vertically mounting it because you can see that all the design is on the front of the case. Hey, SRock61, thank you for the sub. There's Joe Sauce dropping his prime sub. There we go. Gamer Bin dropping tier one. There's DMAT dropping two. And remember, you get extra entries uh, for some of those bigger sub PCs. Every, sub, every gifted sub gets you extra entries towards winning. Igor dropping 10. There we go. Sub Hunter dropping a resub tier one. And if you want to help me with the Partner Plus stuff, tier three, obviously a Revan Wing Dragon. There we go. Stoked Chisel dropping a prime sub. Yeah, you do not block the uh, the dev plate, which is cool. Okay, there we go. Level, there we go. We unlocked the five dollar, sorry, the twenty five dollar gift card. Now remember, guys, if we get to level ten. It's a hundred dollars. Just give away a hundred dollars. We get to level ten. Oh wait, I think I needed a, oh, that's right. This is one of those ones, you gotta put the GPU on first. I mean, if you wanna win this PC, drop a Prime sub, dude. That's just, that's just free. Okay, let's pull this out. Boom, beautiful. Okay, time for the stunning GPU. V Fangs, thank you very much. Thank you for the gifted sub, Kino. Okay, hold on. I have to do this outside of the case, apparently. Order of operations here. One minute, 49 seconds, you guys.
Hey, that G dude. Come on, guys, let's get it to level seven at least. That'll give us more time. Okay, just screwing this down. There you go, just like that. Okay, let's grab our front cover here. Twenty seconds. We can do it. Somebody's just got to drop some subs, and then remember, want to unlock the big giveaway. But dude, still level five, huge. Thank you very much, guys. There we go. Okay, that's in. Now we can do this right. There we go. There we go. Looks awesome. What do you guys think? There you go from the side. That looks pretty dang good with the uh, with the whole front and everything else. That that looks that looks so good. That, that, this, this GPU just has the aesthetics for the vertical mount, which looks really good. Okay, let's get our cable extensions in and then we'll, uh, we'll almost, we're pretty much done. Yeah, you can, y yes, the screen is customizable. In this case, not at all, because you're basically, there's a fan down below that feeds air. So this, this case does have no issue with vertical or, or horizontal mounting for the GPU. And the dev badge is still visible. Okay, we're just gonna work on the... Getting the cables in. Last little bit of this build. Then we'll turn it on. Oops, put it on up. Oh yeah, theme to X H6 flow would have looked good too. There we go.
funny because I thought about doing custom cables for this, but I don't want to take away from the theming of the case. And I think white would actually be the ideal. Like the more I thought about it, I was like, ah, white's just gonna look good. Cause it won't take a, it won't, it won't kind of take away from anything. There we go. Yeah, you just want you want it to stay looking clean, so that's what we're gonna do. Who? Once this is done, guys, all I got it is PSU. Build is done. Wow, five thousand D build. It's I've done. I've done a fair number of those. We don't have to put on a lot of cable combs for this one because of just how tight the cables have got to be. There we go. I don't know if I like that. Oh, I'm looking at it. I don't know if I like that. Nope, I don't like that. Let's have it under. had an idea and I was like, eh. Funny, you won't even see the white cable extensions there. Okay. Now I just need to make sure that these stay straight. That looks good. Okay, so there you go. Here's our first one. Looks nice and clean. Most difficult or annoying part of the build? Honestly, most of the time it's the AIOs. AIOs just, they're, it, I mean, unless they're, like the IQ, the H150 IQ link, or the Galahad that have like daisy chainable fans. I'll be honest, man, AIOs are just not fun. <laughs> um, they're getting better, but a lot of time it's kind of the one where I take a deep breath and I'm like, okay. 
No, actually cable management I find therapeutic. Um, but there's a lot of cables, right? Like, like you know, when you do an air cooler, it's like I still enjoy the cable management, but like AIO is less like, especially in ZXT ones, have a tendency to just have a ton of cabling. Um, so you're just like, you're spending a lot of time like, ugh. Working on cables. Okay, this is on this side. Okay, that's fine, okay. So for your cable combs for these, it's kind of interesting because you got to do two in one direction and two in the other. And the reason is, is because you want to be able to have the cable combs look clean from the front too, because they're going to be visible down at the bottom. So I have a tendency to do two at the two one way and then two the other way. So it's a little different than when you cable when you do the so just like this. Last one. There we go. All right, let's grab some water. This ended up working out great. Okay, last two cable combs. There we go. One more. On this direction and then the other two. And then you just kind of zip tie them in the middle. Okay, so there's the top. These will sit down and go over like this. Then the front. Last cable, take cable times. I think if you would have done custom cables in any other way, it probably would have detracted from the theme, like versus what we're doing here, which is just white cables. Because I think if you would have done more, like the extra color would have kind of taken, like it would have taken away from like the sidebar here, you know what I mean, or the other bits. So I think white was the best thing just to make sure that you weren't doing too much. And then of course, obviously having the custom graphic is gonna go a long way towards finishing it. backwards I checked this like three times oh man guys I did well actually what I can do is pretty simple I only have to replace two
Nope, I have to replace them all. Good job, robes. Everybody say good job, Roby. Again, putting the cable combs on upside down. Son of a biscuit here. Yeah, good job. It's the worst. It's my least favorite thing to accidentally do. Be kind to yourself, thank you. Okay, one cable is now corrected. There we go. Okay. What's up, Chris? Yeah, I'm on Twitter. Thanks, dude, I appreciate it. I'm just getting this, I got one more, one more. Okay, one more to get done. Okay, whew. It's almost there. Okay, here we go. See how this looks. This one is, I'm, I'm interested to see how this is. Tubes are kind of weird, but. Yeah, that worked really well, actually. Let go.
Okay. Okay, and then you can see the case. Okay, so there you go. And then you can see the cable combs at the center too. So it looks like actually clean down here too. Okay, that's how the build's gonna look. Essentially all I have left is just the power supply. There we go. Clean white build. Okay, let's get our PSU in. Turn this bad boy on, see how Starfield runs on it. Get that hype. Yeah, get that. We got hype. Okay, going to top down. This is how the back looks, which is also very clean. Got 12 subs away from hitting a $150 gift card. We're unlocking all sorts of stuff today. Okay. Let's grab our PSU. Uh, we need two SATA, two SATA, and then GPU, CPU, and we're good. Nothing too crazy. Yeah, the first beauty of 2024. I'll make sure to put the NZXT bag in the, whoever wins. These NZXT power cables are, the power cable bags are awesome. I like that, and it's out of this world. Okay, here we go. Okay, first bag. Oh wow, these are zip these are ziplock now. That's nice. Appreciate that. Usually they're not ziplock. Oh, we'll do PSU sniff for sure. CPU. Don't need that. GPU, and our big one. There we go. There we go. Victor, thank you very much, man. It's good to see you. Oh, geez. Yeah, it would be nice if it was white, but it'll be okay. You don't, you won't really see it.
And again, I still appreciate NZXT and you guys should too for giving us all the parts, Kingston and uh, AMD for hooking it up. There we go. Uh, Bill the Bear, they didn't give us a white PSU. I don't think NZXT makes a white PSU. Not that I know of, right? I think can confirm there is no white PSUs from NZXT. You won't notice it, and it still will look good with the black. Okay, going to side here. Ow, I'm gonna pinch myself. It actually hurt. Side view here. I mean, you still have the black from the NZXT, and so I don't think it actually looks all that bad. And given it's a cargo container, I think it actually looks kind of spacey when it's got little black as well. Feels more futuristic. So, thematically, I'm okay with it. I'm just getting the cup this started. And never tighten this all the way down until you get all the screws in. Then once you have the screws in, tighten it down because sometimes it'll, if you over tighten it, you'll actually make it so some of the screws don't fit. If you put them all in, it can never shift so that the screws don't go in. All right. Okay, now it's time to just finish this build. So the first thing we're gonna do, luckily there's not a lot of cables here. So let's start with our, this right here. Like that. Oops, you guys can't see. Okay, we're just gonna get our stuff down here. There you go. There we go. Okay, now, grab our Okay, pull this through.
Okay, there we go. Now, For all the new people, if you head over to the Discord, we always got some events going on. Blondie but Geeky's got some great things going, like a, a PC build list competition and some uh, Twitch clips of the month. So you can check you can over work, there and you, you can, can win some gift cards. A, you can win a hundred bucks, yeah. Okay. Again, it's just about keeping this part. I don't have a tendency to want to tie that down too much because people need to get to it. It's a little easier that way. Okay. Back is done. Build is done. Let's throw our back cover on. There we go. Make sure. Okay. Cables look good. Throw that on. There's from the front, there's the build. Pretty dang clean, I have to say. All the cables look great. Everything's hidden, that's a good thing. Okay, let's throw the front cover on. There it is, guys, the entire Starfield themed build. Hey, S-Rock, thank you very much. D-Mat, thank you very much. All of you guys for all the subs. Yeah, we hit that 150. There it is. Hydrate from and Legion of Pyre. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous AMD system. Okay. Do this over here. All right, let us let's count our zip ties, and then we'll uh, count our zip ties real quick. Um, do our deals, talk about our sponsor, and then go from there. Club Penguin is gonna run like a boss on this. Probably best Club Penguin. This is like the ultimate Club Penguin build. Okay, let's do our, let's count our zip ties in just a second. Getting stuff cleaned up here real quick. There we go. 
I have no idea if Club Penguin is still around. <laughs> Vmock, do you know if Club Penguin's still around? I don't even know what you're talking about, honestly. <laughs> Okay, build and air work area is done, cleaned up. Put this off to the side. Let's count our zip ties. We use a lot, guys. We use a lot of zip ties. Okay. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. There's ten. Remember, odd or even. Oh, March 30th, 2017. Okay, so it's down. Five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. 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 Okay, so there's five right there. Okay. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five. Well, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five, fifty. It is even. Even today, guys. Even, 50. That was still a lot of zip ties for such a small case. We had to do re redo sections though, which always helps it get there. Okay. Okay, so now the question is, will it post while we're doing that? We're gonna go through our sponsor real quick. I just realized our thing is unplugged. This is usually not. Here we go. Let's grab our, where's our HDMI cable? That is it right there, yeah. Yeah, is that Yushimai? Okay. Turdog. Your RAM just broke. That's weird. Not supposed to use the drumstick. Yeah. Ugh. Okay. Let's just look at our deals and our sponsor real quick. Throw in a microwave, zip ties are, I'm assuming they're recyclable, but there's a whole fallacy about recycling. So yeah. Um, ba -ba 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 Ruby tick. Okay. Okay. And we need Pig Radio to do your intro song for uh, Deals featuring Tom. Well, we should do it. Is Pig Radio, that actually would be a good idea. 
All right, so let's say, friends, you get finished with the build. Oh, it doesn't. This is not on. That's not going to help you at all. All right, there you go. Ugh. Let's say you get finished with a build like this and you want to put on a copy of Windows. Well, if you were going to pick, head over to someplace like Best Buy or whatever it is, uh, getting a copy of Windows might cost you about 100 bucks. But here at VIP slash CDK Deals, you can see that you can get Windows 10 Home for 19 bucks, or you can get Windows 10 Pro for $23.09. So for a safe reference, we're going to pick up Windows 10 Pro. You can sit there, hit buy now. You're gonna get your key in three to five minutes. If you have questions, if they're legit keys, literally thousands of people here have used them. Uh, it's uh, it's also, so if you have questions or about their customer service or anything like that, you can just reach out to people right here on the stream and they will they will definitely give you the 411 on the, on, the, uh, on the site. So just go in, hit RBCK at checkout, hit apply. What was $23.09? drops all the way down to $16.16. .16. Yep. Uh, and so there you go. No problem whatsoever as well. What if you want to pick up a copy of Office? Say for instance, you're going to start in the winter quarter or spring quarter. Here's Office 2021. You don't want to pay for the, uh, you don't want to pay for the uh, uh, upgrade or the subscription. We can pick it up here for what's usually at Best Buy. It'd be about three, 200 bucks. Here at, RB, at CDK Deals, you can pick it up for $114.74. Uh, if you hit buy now, again, same thing. Use the same code, RBCK at checkout. Hit apply. What was uh, basically $114.74 drops all the way down to what is essentially $80.32. So $80.32, much cheaper than picking it up at uh, Best Buy or Newegg. Uh, their, their keys are legit, they're one-time use. If you have questions, again, feel free to ask in chat. Tons of people have used them, uh, and it's a great place to pick up copies and be able to do things like uh, customize windows and get the support that you get because you have a, a registered copy. So VIP slash cdkdeals.com, just use RBCK at checkout. Next thing I wanna tell you guys about of course, is robytech.com. I had somebody just reach out just, just a few minutes ago about commissions. This is where you go if you want to have me build a custom PC here live on the stream like this Starfield PC. So if you wanted to have something built, uh, I do take a number of commissions. It's limited. Uh, you can just reach out via email. We'll have a discussion and price it out. My prices aren't bad either. It's just basically, uh, there you go. It's like 15% plus shipping, uh, which is actually pretty good. Uh, the other thing too, we're checking out and it's getting ready to start here in just a minute as a Robitech Insider. So if you have questions about you missed a stream or you wanted to know what giveaways and stuff are going in here, great place to find all of the content that we essentially published on top of just that, as well as pictures from the community, like when we went to DreamHack. Hey, there's BMOC right there. Uh, when we went to DreamHack, uh, as well as um, giveaways and stuff like that. So uh, it's worth subscribing. Head over to robytech.com slash insider, hit subscribe. You're basically gonna get it right to your email inbox and it's the best way to just keep up with what's going on. Uh, for builds, if you like a particular build, say for instance you like this build, but you know you couldn't get the Starfield parts, but you still wanted to, to build it, you can head over to uh, robytech.com slash builds. Here's all the parts, the links to all the parts, as well as um, the video to follow along. I try to show you guys how to basically do everything. So you can find any stream, all of the builds, all of the parts are always located there. There's the Grinch build we just gave away at Christmas. Uh, here's a beautiful pro art build. So if you have questions or you want to find out what was in a particular build, just head over to robytech.com slash builds. Last thing is deals. Let's see what deals Tom has found for us today. Here we go. Oh my gosh. Uh, let's just scroll past that Michigan thing. I can't believe he put Michigan on a UW thing. Okay. Uh, Corsair HX 1500i fully modular ultra low noise ATX PSU. Uh, on sale right now, $224.99 with a 25. So if you need a really big PSU, there you go. Uh, the Hanu dual monitor stand, this is a spring monitor if you wanted to have two, two uh, basically monitors on a, a swivel. Uh, I've used a number of these, these are great. Um, they, they're usually you know, 49 bucks plus you have a $10 coupon. So nice and uh, inexpensive for some monitor arms. Uh, silicon power, two terabyte UD90. You can use this in certain laptops. You can also use this to upgrade your, your storage in your Steam Deck or in your ROG Ally. Um, these, these sizes are starting to become very, very popular. And again, games, as Steam Deck has gotten more popular, games, et cetera, have started to take up more room. Uh, here's a Steam Deck dock. 
uh, compatible with the Valve Steam Deck. So if you wanted to, or the ROG Alley, just plugs in seven to one, and then you could play it also on a monitor. Uh, APC UPS 1500 UPS backup. This is one of those things that people always forget about when they buy a PC and then they don't spend the $179 and then a power surge or whatever happens and the PC doesn't shut down correctly and then they've lost their beautiful thousand plus dollar PC. This is a great way to make sure it's not. They also come with insurance. I use them on all my PCs. Uh, and they're a very, very safe way to protect your PC. Worth the $179, and it's 179 bucks is a steal for something like that. And then the Elgato Wave 3 plus a wired mic combo. Uh, you can get uh, both the mic and the stand uh, right now for $179.99. You're saving yourself almost $80. So if you're a streamer, I love Elgato stuff. We use it here in, this, in, this, in the uh, stream, and then of course in the home system as well that you guys see me stream games. So really great deals. My favorite on here, not the Michigan thing. I would say uh, the APC, obviously a huge one. And then of course this Elgato, so these two. Anyway guys, say thank you, Tom. Thank you, Tom, for, uh, for hooking that up. And uh, you're gonna be really sorry uh, on, uh, on Monday when Michigan loses to UW, so. Which, you know what, honestly, I don't even like college football. I don't even know if I care, but just the fact that he threw it on the site, that's, 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 why I'm, that's why I'm making a big deal out of it. So there we go, guys. Okay, so let's turn this thing on, see how it actually performs. Seems like a good plan, right? Okay. I just need to switch this over real quick. Okay, here we go. Okay, so popping in our, just gonna make sure it boots the right way. All right, that should be everything. Here we go, three, two, one. Oh snap, I see lights. And there it is guys, lit up. It's alive. It's alive. And there is the build. It looks really good. Just waiting to see if it posts. I have no idea because the capture is We hit the capture, we'll see what happens. There it is, guys. We are posted and we are live. There it is, ready to go. So it is posted. It's updating Steam here real quick. Do do. Ugh. It's funny because I actually almost like I like the NZXT thing there. You could put a Starfield. I mean, we probably should put a Starfield graphic there. And of course, we're gonna get this all the way set up. Make sure it's all the way going before you before we give it away for sure. Ugh. Oh, yeah. OK, 
Okay, so let me get rid of some stuff, get this going here. Letting the games go. Okay, what, did the RAM go white? Oh, did it, whoa. Okay, it's fine, okay. That was weird, it just paused. Okay, the RAM is white. Oh, you know why? Dang it, ah, I bet you I know why. Because it's downloading, it's updating all of the games real quick. It's updating all the games. Okay, let me grab, let me grab Cam real quick. Okay, going in here. There we go. I'm gonna let it download this real quick because we do want we do want to make sure that we have Starfield up to date. Okay. It's guys, just stay tuned. It'll it'll be over here in a minute. It's almost done. It's almost done. Okay, it's done. It'll stop now. No pause. We're just gonna pause the other ones. Okay, let's go and. Okay, let's go to lighting. Okay, firmware updating. It's gonna update the firmware real quick. Uh, blue, I don't think so. I, I wish it did, but I don't, I'll see if I can get a code. If I can, I will. Okay, first thing I want to do, if though... If you're wondering... What? The, the fans aren't spinning because it's in the zero RPM mode. So, until it hits a load at a certain temperature. Oh, yeah, the GPU. Yeah, the GPU fans, they won't spin. They, they have a tendency... Yeah, you don't have to worry about that. Okay, let's go to... Oh, that's not letting me, oh, there it is, image gif, okay. There we go. There you go, how's that? go there you go with the star field there's the build with star field on there 
That looks really good. Okay, sorry. That I mean, I thought it was gonna look good, but then it looks it looks way better than I thought it was going to. And then from the from the front here, this is what it looks like from the front. So then you have like the star field on the front with all of the things. Okay, so now let's do our peel. And then we'll do our thermal testing, run, run Starfield on it, and then we'll give it away. There you go. Right here. I was like looking for the peel. I was like, okay, there we go. There it is, fully peeled. And if you go slow on this, this will come off too. There we go. Peeled now. Okay, so now, that's terrible, hold on. There we go. Got our Starfield background now and the PC is ready to test. Now, what I'm gonna do real quick, just to show you guys, let's open up CPU ID. Let's open up Cinebench 2024. There's our temperature right now in the 50s. It's because of freaking So we're gonna go to file, advanced benchmark, or a 10 minute. Let it go down, not that I'm worried about it. Okay, let's go ahead and hit start, single multi-core. That's kind of what I expected. Seventies, lows in the seventies, no problem. It's a 280 millimeter AIO. Okay, let's see how airflow is doing. So we're gonna go to side here. You guys ask about the airflow. Okay, so we're pulling air from the front. There's a couple places pulling air from the front and then exhaust, and there's also air down here. So I'll show you both of those right here. Here it is. You can see the air just going right across. No problem whatsoever. Just pulling right through there. 
very quickly. A lot of times people have no idea how fast air travels through a PC. It travels quite quickly through a PC, as you can see right there. And then the other thing too, is you're also pulling air from right here. You can see that's giving direct airflow right to that GPU if the GPU is gonna need it. So again, plenty of airflow being pulled through this case and no problem whatsoever for, uh, for, the, for this case in terms of airflow and pulling through. And then again, temperature wise, we have no problems whatsoever. It's just sitting in the, it's sitting in the, uh, yeah, it's very flowy PC. Currently sitting in the 70s, no problem in terms of temps and stuff like that. That's not, weasel, that's not it at all. That's, uh, I don't actually, that's gross. <sighs> No, actually it won't get dusty fast. This actually has a relatively positive pressure situation inside the case. We have 140s pulling through. It might be neutral, but in terms of dustiness, it won't get all that dusty. Uh, Amanda, it won't, it, it, the temps will be around the same. Like you won't see any issues both with um, either CPU temps or GPU temps. They would have been fine in either form. There might have been a one to two degree difference, but nothing major. <laughs> yeah, there's no throttling on the CPU, no whatsoever at all. This is just gonna run totally no issues. Okay, so let's show you guys, let's just, uh, so uh, Bishop, uh, it's called the Smoke Genie. Uh, we have a link to it, I think. It will not come over, uh, seven, will, it will not come overclock, no. It'll just come stock. Uh, Clyply, they, it's been getting better for the AI program, but a, a lot more, it's nowhere near that of uh, the 40, of NVIDIA series right now. Yes, it does, Levick, because it's direct airflow to the GPU. Okay, let's go ahead and show you guys. Let's go ahead and uh, get some games going here. So I'm gonna pop this in. Let's show you Starfield on it. Hey, get the Prime, thank you very much. Yeah, you don't need to overclock this anyway. Um... You could get a little boost if you did the curve optimizer, but even then, it's not going to make that big a difference, big of a difference unless you're running yeah. a lot of multi-core. For gaming, it's negligible. Okay, let's drop. Let's hit. Let me just make sure IQ is running. The only reason you might be like, Ro IQ, it's because I'm running scuff. I'm going to restart later. Okay. Okay, so let's pop open Starfield. Oh, let's also run MSI Afterburner. I'm looking for sound. We want it to go through here. Okay, should be getting. Okay, yes, yeah, so let's see how this runs. You guys can see here, we're running DDR5. We have the 7900 XTX. You can see right now gaming temps, it's like basically sitting at, you know, 30, 30, 51 in gaming. The, look at that GPU temp though. GPU temp is so good. Okay, so let's go to display. We're running at 1440 ultra. We're gonna put motion blur on ult. Just kidding, we're turning motion blur off. We're gonna turn, let's just run raw, because we don't need to. Let's just run ultra raw. 
You can put it on cast actually, and then cast is fine. Render resolution is max, and there we go. And then we want V-Sync off. Okay, here we go. There you go, 163 FPS. In space. That seems fine. And it's raw, it's 160 frames per second raw right now. There's nothing, we're not playing with any, God, this game looks so pretty. We're not playing with anything, we're not messing with anything. Let's go check out a planet. So we'll go to here. We land here? Oh. We'll land here. Nira. Let's land at the abandoned fuel place. Yeah, cast is on, but rend render resolution is max. So we did we left everything's raw. This is raw. There's nothing. We're not turning any. There's nothing. There's no magic here. It's not upscaling, it's just running CAS. Well, that thing takes a lot of, oh, that's, that's gonna kill me. So dangerous, guys. Don't pet the wildlife. Get it. There you go, guys. As you can see, Starfield has no problem running at 1440p on Ultra with everything you could want on it. Run around planets, kill lots of fun things, like you should. Looks like the construction was interrupted on this extractor unit. I wonder why. This is, uh, but yeah, there you go. There is Starfield. Okay, well, uh, while we're popping Starfield, and there you go, that's the system. All the other games, like the only other one that was half, like it's now needing to re-download entirely was COD. So we're not gonna wait for 122 gigs to download. So let's start with, uh, we've unlocked uh, two $25 new gift cards. Let's unlock those. And there is our build all the way done. Yeah, very functional. Probably should throw it away, it's too, it's just not good enough. Okay, so let's, uh, we'll talk about the PC giveaway I'm gonna run while you guys are doing this, while I'm running this, I wanna let you guys know, I'm gonna run the first giveaway here, two $25 new gift cards, exclamation point community. Exclamation point community for these. 
Two $25 New Egg gift cards up for grabs. There you go. Two minutes, guys. Now, you might be asking, we're about to do the PC giveaway. So let me, let me explain how the PC giveaway works. It is open to the US, Mexico, and Canada without any issues whatsoever. If you want to enter from those locations, that's totally fine. Uh, you can enter to win, no problem. Worldwide, you can enter as long as there's not a US embargo. But if you win, then you have to pay customs and shipping for the PC. Like, we'll pack it up, we'll get it to you, but you'll basically handle all the courier and shipping of the PC itself. So I, I, that's how we do worldwide giveaways. Um, you do not need to be subscribed to win. What you need to do is you basically need to be subbed on, on YouTube. You need to be following on Twitch. Uh, I, would, I would appreciate if you followed on Twitter too. That would be huge. Uh, you need to be uh, at least doing those three, and you for sure have to be a member of the Discord, discord.gg slash Robitech. We'll essentially make sure that you're, uh, but on those two, you, those three you have to have basically done. Um, and then uh, if you want to get extra entries, all you got to do is head over to twitch.tv slash Robitech, drop your free Prime sub. That gets you three additional entries when we basically uh, do the giveaway. So if you want to basically get additional entries toward winning the PC, drop your Prime sub. That also gets you entries to win our sub-only PCs, which this month will be a Twitch, uh, sorry, the next two months will be a Twitch, Twitch water-cooled build. So if you want to get in on that, uh, Tier 1 gets you one entry. T uh, sorry, Tier, uh, sorry. Prime gets you one entry, tier one gets you three, tier two gets you five, tier three gets you 10, and every gifted sub gets you an additional entry. But all of our giveaways, you get additional entries if you are a subscriber. Don't need to be to win, you get an entry for free if you're not a winner, but if you want more entries, then use your subscriptions. So I think that's pretty much anyway everything. So yeah, go ahead and drop your Prime subs if you want to be out, eligible to win. Make sure you're following, make sure you're a member, discord.gg slash Robitech as well. Let me put the music back on. Do, do, do. Okay, and oh, congratulations to Barber, Bartolo, Escular, and Riley Doll. Riley Doll, you guys are the winners of the 25. Now, if you win the gift cards and then you enter and win the PC, that's fine, you'll just forfeit the other win. To, to win the PC, so don't worry. If you, you please enter on all the giveaways, you're not going to make yourself ineligible uh, if you happen to win the PC. Okay, so that is those. I'm going to wait for her to close that out, and then we'll start the next giveaway. All right, so she's closed out on that. Okay, guys, so we're going to do this gift card. It's a $150 new gift card. Uh, exclamation point new egg now. Exclam uh, actually, let's do exclamation point AMD. We'll do exclamation point AMD. $150 new egg gift card up for grabs. Uh, dropping that right now. Again, two minutes, two minutes on that. $150 new egg gift cards. Exclamation point AMD. Make sure you're subscribed because you're going to want to get extra entries on this. Uh, and then again, you're helping me. If you upgrade to tier one, tier two, or tier three, you're actually helping me uh, get Partner Plus. I have one month left. This is the last month. We've basically crushed it the other two months, uh, but upgrading to tier one, tier two, tier three uh, is always a, a very big thank you to the community. I hope it allows us to do builds like this and all that sort of stuff more and more. Zini on Frost, thank you very much for the sub, man. Manatee, thank you very much for the sub. Tier one, appreciate it, man. That's a huge help. Thank you for the points, the sub points. Make sure that you're a member of Discord, discord.gg slash Robitech. Make sure that you are subscribed on, on uh, YouTube. Make sure that you are following on Twitch. Please follow on Twitter, too. You don't have to, but I, I'd appreciate it. Yeah, Cyberpunk will also run beautifully on it. I just can't download it, so... Cyberpunk also runs well, but COD runs really well on this. Roar Shark Maker, thank you very much for the sub. Okay, now when we're gonna give you six minutes to enter on the PC, when it is done, when the PC is done, do not leave because we have to verify the winner. They have to make sure they have done all those things I told you. We've had people win and then not be eligible. So 
don't leave because if that happens, then we're going to redraw and then you'll be sad. So when we draw the winner, don't leave quite yet. Okay. And by the way, over a thousand on Twitch alone, 1,261 people, almost 1,300 people here completely. So thank you very, everybody for being a part of this and joining. I'm really glad that people are excited about this giveaway. Um, you guys are amazing. Super appreciate it. This build looks so good. BMOC, this build looks good, doesn't it? Oh, that's gorgeous. Those special edition parts, man. Yeah, that's what makes it even even more exciting because you got something that's very, very rare. Yeah, you, you, there's only, I think there's only going to be 100 cases. And then those GPUs, there was only like 500 in the whole world. And yeah, the whole thing just, I mean, you're, you really have like a very special build here. So. And it can't, and guys, it came out so clean. And I got the best one because you built it, so. That's right. Thanks. Thanks, BMOC. <laughs> Okay, drawing the winner. Congratulations to Emutech. Emutech, you are the winner of the, uh, you're the winner of the uh, $150 new gift card. Congratulations, Emutech. Okay, it's time. It's time. Last time. If you want to get extra entries, drop your prime sub, drop your subs. Number two, if you make sure Discord Make sure uh, Twitch, make sure YouTube, those things are done. And then the last thing is, last thing is potentially follow on Twitter. It doesn't get you anything, but it helps me and it makes me feel better. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Exclamation point NZXT. Exclamation point NZXT is going to be the entry. Six minutes. Oh, sorry. Four minutes, four minutes, four minutes. Four minutes, guys. Giveaway is starting right now. You will not get confirmation. Sometimes you will, sometimes you won't. We did verify that everybody who put it in did get it, so don't freak out if you don't see anything. It's fine. Remember, if you if you want to get extra entries, you got four minutes, drop that Prime sub, and then hit the, the exclamation point NZXT one more time to get your extra tickets. Grand Sika, welcome. Make sure you're following as well, guys. It's up for grabs. People are entering. Make sure you're following. Make sure you're a member of the Discord. Hold on one sec, guys. I'm going to run that one more time. Hold on, it's being weird. I'm gonna run it one more time. Just keep entering, and ex ex here it goes, okay. And here we go. Four minutes, still four minutes, guys. Xenion Frost, thank you for the extra gifted sub, appreciate you. Make sure you're following, make sure you subscribe. You do not need to be subbed to win. I just keep saying that and people still go on Twitter and be like, you, and I'm like, no, you don't. Two, three minutes, guys. Okay, so what's happening the rest of the week? Well, we have this very interesting case. Where did I put it? Oh, yeah, we have this very interesting case, which I've been looking into. And this is supposed to be tomorrow's build. But once I really did a bunch of research, which huge shout out to Gear Seekers for this, I was like, you know what? Honestly, I kind of want some different parts. So I'm trying to get those parts in. So this stream might be moved to Friday. So I don't think there's actually going to be a stream tomorrow. This is called the Geometric Future Arc. It's uh, it's called the Model 2. It's known as the Arc. So this is supposed to be tomorrow's build. Um, it'll probably end up moving to Friday. 
uh, is the expectation. So that's what we're looking at right now. Uh, and then Saturday, we're going to be building an 011 Evo XL commission build. So that's going to be happening on a Saturday. Now, one of those two will be giving away a 7800X 3D and will be giving away a 7600X. So you're definitely gonna to wanna to tune in for that one if you just, you're looking for a CPU for your build. That's also gonna be coming up. And then the week after that is CES. I have some cool new stuff I can't tell you about, but we have some really cool builds that are part of stuff that's shown from ASUS at CES. That's gonna be happening next week. Uh, we have another giveaway PC build coming up from MSI. Um, so we have a lot of stuff still coming up, guys, uh, as well. So you're definitely going to want to make sure that you're subscribed. Follow along on Twitch because that's going to be, uh, sorry, on Twitter to make sure you know what the schedule is uh, because uh, we have some really, really cool content coming up. But yeah, excited about this. It takes 23 screws just to get into this case. So pretty crazy. But this is called the Geometric Future. And we're going to do a 7800 X3D 4090 build in it. Ugh. It reminds me of the older Apple computer. Yeah, yeah, a little bit, yeah. Okay, one minute left. Make sure you're discord.gg slash RobyTech. Make sure you're following on Twitch. Make sure you're subscribed on YouTube. And if you want to get those extra entries real quick because you're joining last minute, make sure you drop that free Prime sub because that'll get you extra entries and then hit explanation in TXT. Also, don't spam because that can time you out and then you cannot claim. So just do it twice and then be good. And then if you if you prime sub, hit explanation NCXT and then you'll get your extra entries. Thirty seconds, guys. And then it'll take a little while. Don't leave yet. It'll take a little while for us to confirm. Now, I am asking people, if you don't mind. We have a really we have a we have a friend of Roby Tech who's streaming right now. Uh, his name is Braythorn. If you're here on Twitch and you really just enjoy PCs, uh, he's running a show. Is it is it the is it the matchmaking show right now, Braith uh, Bmock? Yes, it is. Okay, so if you want to come and learn a little bit about what your ideal candidate, we're going to be rating him at the end of the show. So I'd love you guys to stick around uh, and be a part of that. So uh, if you can, that would be amazing. I'd really appreciate that. Uh, we, though, we're going to draw the winner here in just a second. And then, uh, so if you stick around, just say hi to him, that sort of thing. Just make his day. You know, it's not every day you get to have 1,100 people uh, jump into your stream. Congratulations to Bad Pantera. Bad Pantera. Now, don't leave yet. We got to make sure Bad Pantera has done everything. So it may still draw a winner, a new winner for the PC. So stay tuned. We're going to confirm Bad Pantera. Congratulations. You are currently the winner. We're going to make sure that you are the winner. Uh, we're going to verify that in here in just a second. Heck of a PC to win, guys. I mean, heck of a PC. Okay, please whisper Blondie on Discord. I think is what she said. Still, guys, give it a couple minutes. It takes us a little while to just verify that they're the winner. Looks like he gave you a uh, sub too. He what? He sub. Oh, and, he, and you know what? That's so one. funny because he prime subbed one minute before so you want to make it when you say something like it's going to give you extra entries that just showed that he did it and then he those extra entries are what actually got chosen that is that is a story right there i'm just saying i'm just saying and i don't pick it it just gets picked by Streamlabs, so i have nothing to do with it i don't even pick the winners because i'm out of the loop it's all done by blondie so I don't have anything to do with that stuff. They haven't claimed it yet, so that's the thing. Stick around. He, he may not claim it. He just talked in chat, so make sure you, you uh, get a hold of Blondie but Geeky. <laughs> oh my god. Not like this. Not like this. It's like, dude, did you not do something? Yep. 
Uh, Captain Ropo, I think it's supposed to be later this month. Hey, Bad Bantera, you can whisper her by uh, going up to the top if you're on PC, and you'll see a little chat box thing that says whispers, and then you can type her name in. To yeah, just to go to whisper. Give her a sec, guys. Give him a sec, guys. Bad Pantera, and then also Amutech, you need to also whisper Blondie. Or you can click on her name. She typed in. She's been yeah, typing in chat, too. Yeah, click on her name. So. Click on Blondie but Geeky's name, and then you can select whisper. That's is what I'm saying, guys. That's why you don't leave, because this could all go south. You need to whisper on Twitch, yes. Yeah, I told you, I Emutech, you need to whisper Emutech, you need to whisper Blondie on this on on Twitch. Okay, she said one sec. You don't need to download Discord. You can just use the web version, but he has to have already been following. There, It's not very long. Uh, Ghost MN, the Concord is just about finished. I'm on like, I'm, well, it's halfway finished. I'm on like bag 12 of 21. Uh, the Falcon and the Avengers Tower hasn't even started yet. So. It's not over yet. I will tell you this, it's not over yet. I, we have had people not win who are this far. Rigged? How is it rigged, RG? Shoot, if it was rigged, I'd have it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's a, they're they're whispering right now. It's rigged for lucky peel, people. <laughs> there the, the conversation Bad. takes a little while. Hold on. Bad Bantera Blondie needs your Discord name to verify. I think is he is she they, hopefully they're talking to each other. Yeah, she typed it in chat, so I'm just reiterating it, speeding it along, hopefully. Oh, really, Bernie? That's a that's a Lego set called that? Oh, like the World War II one? Yeah, I didn't know there was a Bismarck Lego set. No, RG, RB, they're not, I don't think they're going to let you. I don't, she doesn't, she will not let you do that. If he does not have Discord, he does not win. We, we told people before, we've let people know what they need to do. No, that's not, that I was on a, yeah, that, I swear the person who wins always, well, we told him like 53,000 times what to do. So I, I'm not surprised that we've had way more winners because we tell people. Uh, they're you gotta follow the Twitter. rules. Rules are rules. We let you know. If we didn't follow the rules. It would be chaos. Yeah, exactly. Like board chaos. <laughs> and the other thing too is he may have done it, but yes, sometimes Discord can be a pain. So I've come to kill chaos. Okay, guys, confirmed. He is the winner. He's got it. Winner confirmed. Thank you so much, everybody. Now, stay, stay. 
because we're going to raid somebody. We're going to raid somebody. We're going to raid somebody. Okay? Please stick around. We're going to raid and blow his mind because it's always fun to throw a thousand people into somebody. So here we go. Raythorn is great people, by the yeah, way. Yeah, he's really great people. And if you're interested in, in pre built PCs, he is amazing. He's only got, got a 29 lot of people right now, okay? So let's 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 have some fun. And I never raid, so here we go. Come on, stick to it. Let's just blow his mind, guys. 600, 741 people, 760, 764, let's do it. Okay, here we go. Thanks, bye guys. YouTube, appreciate you, and we'll see you on the next stream. Bye guys. Friends for indeed. Roby rarely raids people. I know, I know. Holy crap! What's up, raiders? How was the build? How'd the build go? Roby sends his regards. I know. I, hey, he's got to be exhausted. I, whenever I do a build stream, I'm like, I'm done. I, I got nothing left. And he does them like every day, so I don't know how he does it. Hey, thank you, thank you. Uh, Cassie Kenobi, which is a great name, by the way. I will do my best to keep up the good, keep up the good work. He gave away a PC. What a Chad. Absolute Chad. Okay, L let me tell you guys what this is. In case you don't know who I am, and in case you don't know what a PC matchmaker stream is, my name is Braythorn, and what I do is I help people who are looking for pre-builds because they're like the number one gateway for people who want to get into DIY. And plus, it's just the easiest way to get into PC gaming. So as a longtime DIY enthusiast myself, I figured, you know what? That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to help people out with pre-builds because who better to analyze a pre-build than someone who builds all the time, right? He's been doing it for 20 years or so, 25 years. But anyway, these streams, people can you can jump onto a list by filling out a form and going by your budget, your needs, and very specific questions, I will find and put together either a, uh, find a pre-built for you or put together a parts list for you. Uh, it's free, it's just free of charge. You can just do this because it's fun. So, that's who I am. Igor says, Braythorn the pre-built king. Oh man, what's up Igor? Blondie, how's it going? I see you, I see you there. Is that, that chat is moving a lot faster than I'm used to. Shifty, thank you. It is, uh, it's what got me to partner. Because certainly my, uh, I mean, I, I, I took a, a, a almost a year off from doing it, 